What's up, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live! It is Thursday. It is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You are watching an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. I'm Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake. What up, though? Yo, how's been the last 24 hours since we last streamed? We were here yesterday talking products. We're going to talk about some familiar products again here today. I got them out on the table behind me. I hope everybody's doing well. I see Freddie in the chat and Shay Lewis as well as Rover and Boston Butterfly. What up though? Thanks for coming out at the top of today's show. It's nice to see you all and the other people who may not have the ability to say hello right now. Thumbs up to you. Thank you for coming out and watching. Yo, let's address what is going on on Amazon right now, right out of the gate as everybody must be familiar. And if you're not, pay close attention because now is an important time to discuss what's going on on Amazon. We're going to do that right now. What's up, Evans? Uh, Charles T. Surprised but glad to see you, uh, to see you on the show and still uh, see your show still on and not canceled. Yeah, we're going to talk about that right now. We're going to talk about all of that right now. Uh, and yeah, I guess there's been some streamers who have experienced some issues in regard to taking. Um, like roll calls uh, through emails or trying to collect user data through the chat. So uh, yeah, uh, until further notice here on Shopping Dragons, as well as Dragon Blogger, I know that it was announced in the Dragon Blogger Discord. We're just going to kind of put a cease on giveaway operations for the time being until further notice. Um there's just some dialogue that needs to be understood among the streamers. And then maybe there will be some type of remedy for all of us to continue playing the fun games that are great incentives to not only build our social media outreach, but to reward the regular people and new people that join us in our community, uh, you know, for their engagement and uh, their participation here on Amazon Live. While we're trying to build it you know what i mean we're doing it with y'all and we really appreciate it so uh i'm sure everybody understands what's up tx guy <laughs> well, yeah that's my that's my flag <clears throat> maybe we can talk about it sometime ask me some questions i'd be happy to answer them um yeah so yeah as you, most of you must be aware we are kind of just stopping giveaways right now it's a full stop um i don't even want to talk about other things on other websites because the idea for the stoppage of the channel, I believe, 
is encouraging audience engagement outside of the Amazon platform. That's how I've come to believe what's going on. And so, yeah, that's it. We just we just can't take names and we don't want you to leave and don't leave Amazon, basically. Right. So that's where we're at. I hope that you all understand. And with that much clown love. And uh, yeah, we're going to carry on regular shows. We're going to talk about products. And uh, yeah, I really do hope that we get the ability to understand what is happening and create a remedy that is both satisfying and consensual between the streamer and Amazon. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay. So yes. Hello, Evans. Hello, Charles. And hello, TX guy. So yeah. So yeah, that's it, Charles. We just kind of stopped as soon as we heard, as soon as I heard what was going on. Uh, I, I was about to reach out to Justin about it and he actually hit me up and he's like, yeah, we're done kid. I'm like, ah, oh, shoot. Okay. No problem. So yeah, that's it. We'll pick it up. I'm sure again, sometime soon. I don't see why that can't be, uh, I don't see why that can't be, there can't be a remedy for us. <laughs> So yeah, a little bit quiet for the a moment of silence, eh? A moment of a moment of silence for what we were doing. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough of that. Freddie, thank you for following. What's up, Ryan? Uh, Freddie, we're just talking about the beginning of the show here and how things are changing a little bit for a little while until further notice in regard to giveaways. And we are going to talk. Oh, you said water is good. I thought you said what is good. Yo, what is good is everything that I just said, covering the ideas about what's happening with giveaways and how we're going to talk about some products here today. But water is good. It's almost exclusively what I drink. We try not to buy too many uh, sugary liquids and bring them in the house. I was drinking in 2022. I was drinking like a gallon of Kool-Aid every day. Okay, sounds awful, but it was the fact, and uh, I had to stop. I had to stop drinking all that sugar. It was really not good for me. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, yeah, I did that, and now I keep a bag of Kool-Aid in the house. I keep a bag of Kool-Aid in the house uh, so that every time, whenever I'm out or anything, I'm like, oh, I don't buy sugary drinks. I'm like, oh, I've got one at home. I got one at home. I don't need to get another one right now. And then I just don't touch that one. And it's been like, all right, like I still consume sugar and sugary drinks. We had like an orange drink from McDonald's. We buy ice cream, you know, uh, occasionally. But yeah, as far as like chugging a gallon of Kool-Aid every day, ceased that. So I guess that's pretty good. And um, I used to buy that all the time for my kids. Yikes. Uh, yeah, the better question is was... Oh, James, how was the Tribbett Stormbox? Yo, the Tribbett Stormbox is pretty great. The only thing uh, that I would say, I watched a video of a teardown of it, and uh, it's built really well. It's got a big battery pack in it. The Tribbett is not in my carousel today, but it's uh, it's right here. I got it right here. <clears throat> I was going to grab the box. The box is under the table, but I got the Tribbett right here. I'll tell you, even though the weight far exceeds that of the Motion Boom Plus, uh, I really like the light show on this is very simple uh, with its rainbow EQ. And then in mode in light mode two that you can uh, activate with the Tribit app. Uh, it's like it, it cycles through the lights, but in solid colors and the speakers are illuminated different colors and there's only two modes, but yeah, and it's got a lot of weight to it. Um, so, okay. I, it's hard for me to believe that it's buoyant with its IP six, seven weather resistance. But uh, yeah, I like this. I watched some videos of, of people tearing it down. It's got a big, big battery bank in it. And uh, yeah, I've been loving it. I think that, uh, I think, uh, man, I don't know. I would definitely use the Motion Boom Plus if I was like headed maybe to the beach, right? I bet the Motion Boom Plus is better for me for the beach because I can be hands-free with it. And it's really, really light to lug across the sand. This thing has just got a little bit more weight than that Motion Boom Plus. I think this is like uh, like eight or nine pounds, maybe a little bit more. I like this, James. I like this a lot. And uh, <clears throat> 90 watts is 10 more watts than the 80 watts on the Motion Boom Plus. This is where it's at. Now, what I'd like to do, what I'd like to do uh, is get my hands on the Rave Neo 2. 
I'd like to get my hands on the Rave Neo too. And James, did you ever see? Uh, did you ever see my giant speaker? I'm going to greet everybody else in the chat here right now. Um, where was uh, Freddie started following? James asked me. Uh, Boston Butterfly, Chris Garage. I could just imagine Blake busting through the wall and saying, "Oh yeah, I got some red shirts. I could build like a wall or something and try that out." Uh, Samantha Guevara is here. I think the ice cream at McDonald's is actually yogurt, but not positive. I think it's just like milk. I agree. The anchor is a little better in my humble opinion. Well, I mean, I got this. I got the Rave Neo 2, which is a really great speaker. And I've got the Motion Boom Plus. And I would say that this is a little bit louder than those. But great options. Great op I like the light show on the Rave Neo 2 better than the light show on the Tribit. Oh, and I watched a video because I kept questioning, is it Tribit or is it Tribit? It's Tribit. I watched a video. The company said the name. It was Tribit. I was thrown off by the single B. It is Tribit. Um, <clears throat> totally agree. It is louder and the lights are awesome. On the Rave Neo 2, uh, I like the lights on the Rave Neo 2 better. This has a pretty fun light scheme, but it's just like the equalizer. And each of these cells, I don't even have this in my carousel, nor have we started the show. But uh, the equalizer band on the Tribit uh, in two different light modes, the EQ on both sides can be RGB. So when you have mode one, it just looks like an RGB EQ where each of these individual squares is different. You know, I can put this down because we do have the other camera set up today. So let's just cut to that camera. So yeah, <clears throat> the, uh, the EQ, the EQ LEDs on the Tribit, each individual cell can be its own color and that's light mode one. And then light mode two is this is a solid color and it cycles through colors, but the EQ stays the same. And those are the only two modes. I wish that it had like more modes, downloadable or customizable modes. But beyond that aesthetic, the Tribit, the Tribit Stormbox Blast dominates and is much loud. It's, it's not much louder, but it, it, it's cooler because it's newer. That's all I'm trying to say. To me, it's newer, so it seems a lot cooler. But I definitely, I definitely think that the Tribit Stormbox Blast is inching out the Motion Boom Plus. It does things that the Motion Boom Plus doesn't do. And then the Motion Boom Plus has features that the Tribit doesn't have. So it's uh and and at regular prices, at regular prices. The Tribit Stormbox Blast, when not on sale, is like $80 more, 80, $60 or $80 more than the not sale cost of the Motion Boom Plus. But the last time that I looked at this, it was on sale for $155, which is, uh, which is $20 less than, $30 less, I believe, than a regular cost Motion Boom Plus. So thank you, James for asking about it. Uh, I see that you said nothing beyond that. <laughs> so I don't know if you're still here watching, but uh, yeah, we're going off about the ice cream. What ingredients are in McDonald's ice cream? Imagine the result for McDonald's ice cream ingredients, milk, sugar, cream, corn syrup, natural flavor, mono and diglycerides, cellulose gum, guar gum, carrageenan, vitamin A, palmonate. None of that sounds like, sounds pretty regular for ice cream stuff to me. Sounds pretty regular for a mass consumption ice cream like that to me. Uh, okay, we're here. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, James, if you're still here, I think that the Tribit Stormbox Blast is inching out the Motion Boom Plus, but they both have their features, and pretty much those features are around aesthetic. When it comes to sound, when it comes to sound, uh, I got to do a few more tests, but the Tribit is louder. The Tribit's louder. Uh, I got to mess with the EQs a little more, which is not something that I normally do. Okay, let's get something right here on this table right now. And it's going to be the first product in today's carousel. And that's going to be the KYY portable monitor. Okay, this is the box. Okay, and then uh, let's, uh, okay, let's lift it up. I got it. Let's look at the box first real quick, and then I'll lift it up. So this is the KYY portable monitor. It's a 15.6 inch 1080p resolution portable monitor. Okay. It has 
speakers built into it and a headphone out jack. We're going to take a look at the monitor. I use it every single day as a permanent attachment to my laptop as a monitor too. This second display with the portable KYY monitor is amazing. Let's uh, leave this here real quick and let's put the water away. <clears throat> let's put the water away and let's lift the monitor up. What do we got? What are we looking at here? Uh, we're just looking at my product page. That's no problem. Let's click on our, let's click on an Amazon video and uh, let's play it. Let's find a James video because we know it will be long. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's full screen this and then uh, let's uh, start playing it right now. Let's start playing this James video right now. Okay, so this is it. This is the KYY 15.6 inch 1080p resolution monitor. I'm holding it here in my hands. This is what it looks like. It's pretty great. Uh, like I said, I use a single USB-C cable plugged into the USB-C port on my laptop, and that runs power and video to this monitor. It's a one cable solution. It's great. It This has a, a, a USB-C it has two individual USB-C ports on it, as well as a mini HDMI port. Um, and then on the other side of the monitor, it has, uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Here's our orientation. Uh, okay. It has a headphone jack in the corner. There we go. It has a headphone jack. It has a rocker switch that presses in, and it has a power button. The rocker switch presses in to select. It moves up and down. It controls the volume of the built-in speakers. Also, uh, it selects. It selects. You can press it into select. You can turn on your on-screen display and change all your brightness and settings uh, that you need to with that rocker switch. Really easy to use. The KYY portable monitor, we're standing over here right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. The KYY portable monitor uh, is uh, coming with this little case. Now, admittedly, I don't take very good care of this case. It's kind of been well used since I got it, but here it is. Okay. And uh, it's not like a case that you can like, the case protects the monitor. Look, I'm going to show you how it works. When we fold our monitor into this book, right, it just wraps around, wraps around. Now, the monitor never like turns off. It's always on. It doesn't have magnets to turn off like a um, tablet. It's not like a tablet. And also it... Uh, it's not like a tablet, and also it's not a touch screen, but it looks good when it's completely flat. And here, we're going to move the box out of the way now. It looks really good when it's completely flat, and when you want to use this uh, monitor in a cinch, this really simple kind of fiber and maybe like cardboard case, I don't know what it's made out of, we can just lift the monitor. Oh, what's wrong with We lift the back up, and then we lift our monitor up. I might have put it in backwards, okay? We lift it up, and then this flap, it folds over, and it's a magnet that creates a groove, and then the KYY monitor just sits like that. Just sits like that. One cable solution on a very simple flap sort of design like this here. And, uh, yeah, I got mine pretty much set up like this at all times. I don't take it down. Uh, now, the monitor on the back of this is not uh, – the magnet on the back of this is not the strongest, okay? So, like uh, – Moving this around is not like so precarious, but you want to be careful when you're moving it. That's for certain. Let me put this back into my monitor to slot. I got it right over here, tucked in the side of the desk. And yeah, we're going to leave this on for now. Okay. And there's going to focus on me right here. Okay. This is where we're at. The KYY. Okay. 1080p monitor, like I said, is a 15.6 inch display. It's the exact same size as my laptop monitor, which is awesome. It looks like they were meant for each other. I would say, I would say in the future for me, uh, the only upgrade that I would like to have for my KYY monitor and understand completely that it's a separate purchase would be that uh, like a better stand, like a little bit of a better stand. But I understand this and its portability. So it's very functional. It works very well by its design. And uh, yeah, it, I, I use this for the second monitor on my laptop, like I keep saying. Also, <clears throat> also, I can use uh, this to connect to my point and shoot camera. I don't even know. I got my point and shoot right here. I got my Canon Vixia here, and uh, we put the Canon Vixia 
Uh, it's got a little HDMI out. It's got a it's got a mini HDMI out. So we just run this cable to the monitor, and now we got a much bigger screen than the little LCD that is included, uh, you know, with the point and shoot. So that's really helpful. It's good for video game consoles uh, like Playstations and Xboxes and Nintendos. Oh my, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, if it has a USB-C type or it has a mini HDMI ability to connect, I think you're pretty much good to go on the KYY portable monitor. Now this is on an incredible deal. So heads up on this, okay? Because while regular 220, today it's 150. It's 149.98. And this is already 85% claim this deal at the start of this stream. So be certain to click through the carousel to get this incredible deal. And you can learn more about different KYY products by clicking through to the store. They have 4K monitors that are uh, a little more pricey, but they got all kinds of great portable monitor options, okay? That's the KYY portable monitor. Today, 150 bucks. All right, let's take a quick look at the chat here. Ingredients in McDonald's, yeah, slower chat. Also in Amazon News, the charity stuff stopped. Yeah, I saw that. All the nonprofit stuff. Yeah, they cut 18,000 jobs too. What's up, Ed, one minute ago? No more winning for short term, at least for anyone. Oh, yeah. I was on, uh, well, we're not talking a lot about winnings and giveaways now, so I'll just address mine real quick. I don't talk about them a lot on live streams nowadays, but uh, I was on like a big losing streak. I didn't, on a big non-winning streak for like a while. I got a, I got a $5 gift card uh, in the beginning of January. I think I, I think I won two times on January 2nd and then, uh, and then I didn't get an opportunity to be a winner for like 10 days. It, it felt like an eternity. And then I think it was on Chris garage. I, if he's still in the chat, I was, uh, I was very fortunate and I got a $5 gift card from Chris and $5 from Brittany the other day. That's pretty much it. It's pretty much it. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad that you got a, I, I'm glad you got a little W there. Stargazer. That's so dope. And, uh, okay cool so let's keep it going then with the chat uh, i mean with the product carousel and we're going to talk about the h30 we'll fly through this one super quick <clears throat> we'll grab the box do we need the box oh here's one that i didn't expect to we'll hold it up it's no problem here's the base here's the base here's the uh vacuum itself this is the eufy H, uh, this is the Eufy Home Vac H30, okay? It weighs less than two pounds. It has a power head on it that spins in eco mode and max mode. This also has a battery that is easily retractable. Uh, we can pull the battery out and uh, it's good to go for, this battery is good to go for about 20 minutes on a full charge, I believe in max mode, okay? It comes with, like I said, the power head. I'm gonna turn the vacuum on real quick on max mode, right? And then here's eco mode. So it's cool. It has a removable dust bin that releases with the push of a button. Uh, it has a washable filter shroud. So you can pull the filter out, bang out the dust, and then wash the metal shroud and then put it all back together. So that's great to help with the longevity of the filter. We can remove the power head with no particular button uh, press and add this tip here now this extension wand does have the bristle tip but before we put it on the back vacuum i want to show you that you can press the button and retract the bristle tip hold on oh, i was pressing the wrong button side of the button we can retract the bristle tip very easily and show the rigid edge uh so that's cool so you can pull back and reveal the head that's nice just like this and uh yeah being less than two pounds this is great for me to reach up into places that I normally can't like here in the corners with the speaker and the table kind of obstructed it makes it easier to get up here and uh, there's not a lot of fatigue on my arm from holding this up uh, for an extended period of time and uh, knowing that I only got 20 minutes of juice out of it makes me want to get my stuff done faster so this is the Eufy Home Vac H30 this is the base for it it has a simple let me rest this down here real quick it has on the base it has a uh, wire guide on the back uh, where you plug it in here just above my finger. I know my lighting's a little poor. We plug our AC adapter right into here and then you can guide your cable through it. It's got two contacts on the back 
and it's really super simple to drop the vacuum into place. It doesn't need any, um, it doesn't need to go in any particular way other than in, and it makes good contacts. This thing is pretty cool. We use it for the truck a little bit. We use it for mostly inside. I know that there are some new vacuum products that are coming, some vacuum products that are here that I'm excited to talk about soon. But right now, it's the Eufy H30, baby. I know the camera's kind of out of frame. Let's hold it up here. This is the Eufy H30. It is under two pounds with 20 minutes of cleaning time, and it is on deal. It's 28% off, making it $130 today. That's $129.99. For the Eufy Home Vac H30, and it's 28% off, like I said, of its regularly priced $179.99. So you're going from $180 down to $130 on this bad boy today. Uh, this become this was like, ah, we'll just use it for whatever. Now it's for everything. Now we use it for almost everything except for regular cleaning of the carpet. Okay, that's it. That's the Home Vac H30. Let's keep our carousel flowing and talk about the next product here, and that's going to be the Soundcore motion boom plus hey what's up scott from live stream labs is here yo if you're a streamer like scott here don't forget to put your link in the chat i was checking you out a little bit earlier today scott when you were streaming i was just kind of putzing around the house and and i saw you and uh i don't know if i i don't know if i greeted you in your chat today but i was definitely watching for a while uh we're talking about the motion boom plus next okay Okay, so this is the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. This is the this is the Bluetooth radio that I was comparing the Tribit Stormbox Blast to at the beginning of the show here when James came in. And uh, yeah, let's catch up on a few more chats before we talk more about this awesome Bluetooth radio. Okay, uh, Ryan, what's this about? No giveaways? Yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that today. Was Alex on today? Yeah, I haven't seen Alex on today. I've been on Amazon most of the day. That is so neat that it can loosen the dirt with that power head brush. Yeah, absolutely, Charles T. The uh, I never, um, I didn't think that it was going to be too useful because it was so small, but it actually does do something. Okay, um, I didn't see Alex today. Ryan, two minutes ago, what, what's this about no giveaways? There's been some issues with some streamers um, having... Uh, uh, like being locked out of their accounts or something. So, uh, and it's been brought to the public's eye that it's likely due to um, asking users to navigate out of Amazon streams to enter giveaways and basically leave Amazon and go to another website. Uh, Amazon doesn't want that. So I think somebody got their channel having issues with it regarding that. So to protect the other channels, Shopping Dragons, as well as Dragon Blogger, and I can't speak for anybody else, but I believe several other streams have kind of ceased operations on giveaways at this time. And uh, I believe that it's going to pick up again soon, but I don't know when that remedy will be enacted. So hopefully it will be uh, quickly. Hopefully it will be quickly. Okay. Um, honeys and bullseye tonight. What time do they start? What time does honeys and bullseye start tonight? I think they're usually live once I end my stream. I'm not really sure. Would Rover say Amazon is a bug? Yeah, they got more than one, I think. I'm good. Just watching Blake's amazing gloriousness. Ha ha. I can't grow a beard like that. Yo, let me tell you something about this beard, okay? Uh, my hair used to be short. My hair used to be really, really short. I kept my hair like maybe like two finger lengths high. Basically, this is how I used to like to style my hair. It was so short um, that I just let the natural oils in my hair build up. And if I could run my fingers through my hair and pull them out and my hair would stay up under its own natural pomade, you know what I'm saying? Then then that's great. That's great. And the longer that I could get my hair to hold itself and the more mad professor kind of look that I had about me was kind of like what I was always kind of gunning for. And I always had my hair dyed very bright, vibrant colors. And I never had a beard. I never had a beard. So I always did have like a little kind of goatee. So basically this, I basically had this, you know what I'm saying? And then the beard came when COVID hit and everything was on lockdown. And I'm like, well, I might as well just let it go. Everybody else seems to be. We'll see what happens. So I think I got my last official haircut in the summer of 2020. I think my last haircut was in like 
the like the beginning of June or the middle of June of 2020, I got all my orange hair cut out because uh, it was the end of my dye job and it was all grown out. So I cut all my hair out and went back to brown. And now I have not had a single hair trim. I haven't had a trim of my beard or a cut of my hair since summer 2020. I got bad split ends. My hair looks like crap. And I'm afraid that when I cut my beard, it's going to look even shorter than it already does. But yeah, it goes down to about here at some of its longest hairs. Okay. And then it goes out to here at some of its shortest. So the beard's all over the place. All you got to do is give up. <laughs> I guess. I guess all you got to do is give up, Scott, and just succumb to what happens and then and then you can figure it out uh let me know if you decide to grow a beard but i'm sure i'll see if you do okay let's see the way i understood it david doesn't send people to other platforms to collect names for the drawings he thinks that's what amazon frowned upon i think it's just navigating off amazon <clears throat> Uh, we still have the clown race for fun. Yeah, you know what? That's a great idea. I think that's an oh um oh wait, hold on, hold on. I don't think we can do uh, you know what today we won't have fun. Today we won't have fun because I think that it has also something to do with collecting names. So we're just gonna hold off even on having fun giveaways for today. Let me seek some clarity on that. I think it's a great idea to have fun races. Uh, but it's not about the prize. I think it's about the streamer collecting the name. So we'll just wait on anything that has to do with roll calls and name collections today, and then we'll take it from there. I think that's a great idea, but not for today. Not for today. Blake needs a beard oil sponsor. I watched this guy that does beard oil giveaways on a different, on a different platform, and, uh, and I haven't won yet. I've been looking into it. Uh, too funny. Yeah, live stream labs. They do have beard conditioners. Shay Lewis, Chris Garage, Ryan, like Tyler and Wendy, post links in the chat for giveaways and Discord. Yeah, a lot of streamers do that, Ryan. And so, and so um, I think, like I said, I'll just repeat it and then we'll talk about the Motion Boom Plus here that I'm holding. Uh, yeah, I think it's just Amazon kind of really enjoys it when you're on their website. And I think they enjoy it less when you're not on their website. And so they're helping us understand that by doing what they're doing now. So like I said, hopefully there's a remedy that is consensual for streamer and, and Amazon platform as well. And uh, yeah, so with that, let's move on from giveaway that we can't do. But uh, again, I repeat, I think uh, fun clown races are fun. So we should definitely do that. But let me let me uh, let me run that by Justin for now. So so, yeah, I think Amazon links in the chat that navigate to stores or products or other live streamers is fine. But uh, I don't think we're doing like uh, no giveaway links today. OK. Uh, OK. One of my kids uses that softens the beard. Yours looks pretty soft already. It feels like uh, pubic hair. You know, my hair feels soft, but my beard feels a little bit more thick, you know, than my head hair. So it feels a little bit more like like a pubic hair. I mean, that's what it is. It's not head hair, but yeah. It does have a lot of split ends. And like I said, it's never been trimmed once since the summer 2020. <clears throat> you said it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what it is. That's what it is, right? You don't have this when you're six. You get it when you're you know, older. Okay. The Soundcore Motion Boom Plus is a fantastic option for Bluetooth speaker. It has a strap on it and it weighs less than five pounds. This is really light on your, on your body when you're wearing it with the strap, but there, wait, there's more. It also has a handle that is built into it. It's part of the body design. The Soundcore Motion Boom Plus by Anchor is IP67 weather resistant. It's buoyant. So if you knock it into the pool, it'll float. If you knock it into the lake, it'll float. If you get it a little bit dirty, that's okay. Rinse it off. It's waterproof. That's a great, great feature to me. Uh, okay. On the back of this, it has a nice grommet that ensures that IP67 weatherproof um, capability. And I can never get this one open. I can never get this one open, but uh, we've seen it a million times. We've seen it a million times. 
right behind this rubber grommet, okay? There's going to be a USB-C port for charging in, a USB-A port for charging out, as well as a three and a half millimeter headphone jack auxiliary in. So if you don't connect this to Bluetooth, you can still plug it in with a headphone jack, and that's really great. The Motion Boom Plus features 80 watts of power. Uh, that's going to be... Um, that's going to be in these two titanium drivers with silk domes and the tweeters as well. The Motion Boom Plus features passive bass speakers. So when these move, these move and you can um, toggle bass with the button that is on the radio. This works out of the box. And I keep calling it a radio, but it's really just like a, a blue. It's a Bluetooth radio, I guess. I always get hung up that like only FM and AM radios are radios. This is just a Bluetooth speaker. It doesn't have an FM radio in it, which is a fact. So this Bluetooth speaker just works out of the box. When you open this and turn it on for the first time, it instantly jumps into pairing mode. You can pair this with your phone and instantly start playing music from it right out of the box. It's amazing. Also, you can control how the Motion Boom Plus sounds with the... Uh, Anchor Soundcore app that you can download for free, Google iOS, right? So you can control how this sounds. This also features PartyCast 2.0, which means you can pair this with up to nine. With this one, you can pair it with up to 99 additional PartyCast 2.0 compliant devices. I got a couple. I got a Motion Boom Plus. I got a Rave Neo 2. Now, I haven't even party casted them together yet. That sounds like crazy. I should actually figure that out. And uh, yeah, so this works right out of the box. It sounds good out of the box. And when you crank this to its loudest levels, it's not like tinny and poor sounding. Uh, it's clear. You have a nice clear sound with the Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom Plus. Now, one other thing that I want you to know about this is that it is basically at its core, it's essentially two pieces. It's the front and the back, and they are held together with a very thick and high quality looking uh, rubber gasket. So the Motion Boom Plus is great. I love the strap that they add with it because it has a little sound core monogram. We can pop that down here and maybe you see it. If we go like this. There we go. So you get that nice little sound core monogram uh, that is uh, embossed onto the onto the uh, strap. I love the strap feature of this and I love how light it is. Um, oh, and one other thing that I for neglected to mention that on a single charge under ideal conditions, the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus has a battery playback of 20 hours, up to 20 hours playback with the Motion Boom Plus. This is available today for $179.99. So $180 for this bad boy. And this has four and a half stars with uh, just under 1,400 reviews. Oh, I see Mr. Moderators in the chat. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. It's so nice to see you. Uh, as well as Buttercup and Chris Garage still here. Uh, everybody is just saying hello to everybody. It's so nice to see you out here again, Mr. Moderator, joining us. Are you all streaming tonight? Let us know in the chat what's going on. I've got to make a polite assumption that if you're here visiting, you must be getting ready for a stream. So that is excellent. Uh, hello, Dimitri KLG. Um, I don't recognize your name today, so thanks for joining us today. You're streaming on Friday. That's tomorrow. That's cool. That's cool. I'm streaming today here, and I'm streaming tomorrow at 5 p.m., and then uh, we've been enjoying the weekend, so uh, we're going to take some weekend vibes to ourselves after Friday's stream. Okay, the Motion Boom Plus, like I said a minute ago, is available today for $179.99. When I got this thing, I was ultra stoked. This is my number one runner. And then I got the Tribit Stormbox Blast. Uh, that is also a fantastic radio. So I really want to just take both of these and use them at the same time and do some real, real, real comparison testing with them instead of using one for a couple days and then using one for a couple days. Uh, I want to put them side by side and figure that out. Uh, no, I'm not streaming tonight, letting everything cool down a bit. My stomach's been in knots, lol. Well, uh, I'm sorry that you're not feeling very well. Uh, hopefully you're doing the right thing that your body needs in order to create great remedy, great remedy. Okay. Um, oh, Chris garage also not, oh, Chris garage, not streaming tonight. Sorry. I thought I read that, uh, from Mr. Moderator's, uh, account. I apologize. Uh, Chris, I hope that you can feel better as well. I know you took some days off streaming, 
uh, earlier in the week. And I hope that you're feeling great from your return after that short break as well. I never really reached out to say anything to you about it. I didn't know if it was the right move, but I saw you post while you were taking a break on social media. And uh, I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're back. Hopefully you can feel better tonight. Drink some water. I'm going to drink some water right now because I feel like I'm frothing at the mouth. And we're going to move on to the next product here in our carousel. And that's going to be the Anchor Power Comp C200. Now, here's the thing about the Power Comp. We've been using it the whole time. It's this camera right here. We're going to take a look at it closer right after I drink just a little bit of water. Okay, just a little bit of water. Um, uh, Mr. Moderator, if you're still here, I know that you have this fantastic setup that I'm extremely envious of. And uh, I hope to reach that level of uh, streamability. I know it's extremely plausible and, and I'm capable of doing it. I just need more hardware. I would love to have a camera that shoots over the kitchen, a close up on the stove. I talk about this on almost every stream. I'd like every room in the house to be accessible. I thought how cool would it be if I could get the cameras on motion sensors that detect when I'm going to be in the room and then they cut automatically. Anyway, I got some silly ideas, but I've got some really cool ideas as well. And I just love the way that you guys have your entire stream set up. So uh, you will. Thank you so much for the uh, for the validation. I'm looking forward to getting to it. I'm like, seriously, I've lived here for 10 years and I've been streaming on the Internet. I've been making vlogs and and making game shows. And I made so much content that is not really appropriate for Amazon, you know, so I can't really talk about it too much. But I made a lot of crazy shows on YouTube and I've done a lot of streaming. Uh, I never thought about knocking down the wall in the back of the house to make it that much bigger for a bigger studio. Uh, I don't really have the intention for kids or anything. And I see how you got it set up. And I'm just like, oh, man, that's amazing. I want to get a big setup like that, too. Uh, not big. Big's not the right word. You do have a very big setup. But big's not the word. Um, like a more, I guess, like professional feeling setup. Something that is more sedentary in the sense that it feels like a studio. Because every day here, we're talking about the Anchor Power Comp C200 right now. This is the box for that. This is the box for the Anchor Power Comp C200. This is what the camera looks like. It has a range of view. Uh, it has a field of view ranging from 65 to 95 degrees. This offers 2K resolution at 30 frames a second and has two microphones built into it for stereo sound. The Power Conference, the Power Comp C200. Uh, oh, also we can close it. Look, we can close the shutter and it puts the camera to sleep, but it doesn't put the microphone to sleep, which is really cool. But yeah, um, I wanted to show you my setup. If you're still here, Mr. Moderator, it's not the uh, it's not the most fanciest setup. Okay, we got the laptop on the desk, which is in the living room next to the couch, and then we set up the lights. We set up lights. These are four bulbs. These are four bulbs and a light. I know the camera's kind of got it washed out. Uh, yeah, and we just set up a couple of bulbs. We got all our products on the uh, shelf here. I'm not the most organized person, admittedly, but you know. We can do it well enough that we can do a show every day. So that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, I would really, really love to knock out a wall in the back of my house and make a big place. And then we can just have the lights set up permanently because every day I set up and tear down the camera, move the desk. We move everything every day. <clears throat> Uh, and by we, it's literally me. It's literally me. My beautiful wife is off to her regular day job, and it's just me. I say we all the time. I'm encompassing the Dragon Blogger team. But with all due respect, uh, Justin sent me some cameras, and I'm just I just set them up every day. So, uh, you know, it takes me maybe I'd say an hour. Give myself about an hour to set all the cameras, set up the desk, make sure the mics are working. You know, we do the product table. Put everything that we're going to talk about today on the table. When I first started, I used to have all the products piled in front of me on a single camera. Let's cut from Anchor Power Conf to single camera for just a second. Um, yeah, and I'm using StreamYard, Mr. Mod. You are still here. Um, yeah, and I use StreamYard to stream. I'm still learning uh, the fundamentals of OBS, and I find it understandable yet complex and so while i have these great ideas to to execute these larger ideas creatively i can barely make a jpeg move from up and down oh i zoomed in on myself cuz i was framing a picture i can i can barely take a jpeg and have it pop up on my canvas 
and then and then transition move down on my canvas like i'm really having some complicated issues trying to learn the fundamentals and memorize them it's been difficult and uh so yeah so we're using Streamyard. we use Streamyard. i've been staying using Streamyard for other content that i've created in the past and uh and uh yeah so i'm like a Streamyard veteran i've been using it for a few years and i still don't take advantage of Streamyard to my absolute uh to my absolute best abilities but it definitely you yeah we're gonna wait for the bit rate of the power conf to catch up now that we turned it off it kind of went quiet uh Streamyard does that i recognize that obs wouldn't do that it would just always be a great resolution camera so we're gonna let this pick up a bit rate here for a second and yeah mr moderator this is my this is my setup this is the setup the main camera is an obsbot tiny 4k ptz and I'm waiting for a Sony ZV-1 to arrive. And uh, and yeah, I'm going to end up switching over my main cam to the ZV-1. Now, obviously, I love the features of the, of the, uh, of the OBSBOT with the baked-in gestures. But as I, as I develop the show, I realize that like I can do this. I can do this to split camera boy right here. And this is very dynamic. Uh, while being stationary at the same time, you know what I'm saying? And I think that that's pretty useful. I didn't really consider doing this. I was doing it in the past when I first started the show and I was taking this camera and I was like pointing it around like a, like a, like a mobile camera. But these, these webcams, I was using it on a 12 year old I five. You know what I mean? I was using my, I was using two cameras. I've got two tabs open for Streamyard, my streaming service you know and i have my camera my main camera on one i've got the Streamyard, um i've got the power conf open on the other one really is staying really blurry and um and yeah so i have two tabs open so i'm running the show on one tab and then i have this camera called in as a guest and it's muted so i just have the microphone muted on this guest so it's just me and my guest and my guest is constantly muted right uh, so that's pretty functional in itself, but I realized that using OBS could be way better. It, there's a lot more, there's a lot more to it, but I, I just got to keep practicing and keep learning. I'm like nervous to debut the show. Uh, it's not even complete. It's not even a complete project to even start streaming with yet. But uh, yeah, I watch yours, Mr. Moderator. And um, I really appreciate your, I really, really appreciate your um, validation in a great way while you're telling me that I'm doing great. Uh, I feel confident. I feel pretty confident. I know that it looks okay. I know that I'm trying to do something and I know that I have the ability to make it better. So I think just time and uh, practice is what's going to really just uh, make the betterment of clown live here on shopping dragons. And with that, let's move on from camera talk. I could talk about cameras and how I want things to look all day. That's a really, um, it's a really big thing that I'm passionate about. But just like pointing cameras at stuff. I just have ideas and let's point the cameras at it. And this is how I think the background should look with the camera. I don't concern myself with color correction. I, I don't learn anything about like ISO or lenses. Uh, I'm just really very much a fan of kind of like a point and shoot aspect and looping all the way around, looping all the way around. That's kind of what you get here with the Anchor PowerConf C200. It's just going to be that fixed focus lens. Uh, with two microphones in it and the ability that when you close the shutter, it puts the camera to sleep. It doesn't just cover the shutter, which I think is really cool. Now I'll probably have to wait for this to catch up again in a little bit of bit rate. What's up, Adam? And the, uh, oh, is that Anchor Adam? Well, everybody's coming out tonight. Yo, it's so nice to see you, Anchor Adam. We were just talking about amazing products here. We were talking about the Soundcore Motion Boom Plus not a moment ago. And now we're talking about a really great webcam called the Anchor PowerConf C200. I'm actually using this webcam right now to show you this box. That's the PowerConf right here. Let's take a quicker look at it in full screen. This is what it looks like. Uh, it, it handles bright lights very well. It handles the bright lights very well. They're not too, too washed out. Uh, I got some other cameras that have really dark lenses by default settings and... Uh, and you can kind of see the individual LEDs, but this is good. You see how the pixels are not too compressed. Uh, that's what you get 
with a great 2K resolution at 30 frames a second. Now, obviously, this is being downscaled to 720p, but what I see looks really great. Looks really great here, these LED lights. And uh, yeah, that's what you get with the Anchor PowerConf C200. Also, because I'm broadcasting from it here, I just want you to see that I was turning it like it's the actual camera. It does have like a nice little grip behind here so that you can place it on your monitor and the grip behind it. It allows you to, here, look, this is this, right? We can position our camera up. We can push it down and we can even point it down. So if you have your, like this is right now, the camera is flat on my tripod, right? But imagine that your camera is on top of your monitors, right? So if you have a bigger monitor and you want the, the power comp to point down, you can just reach at the back and pull it forward and then it points down and you don't compromise the level of your tripod, which I think is really great. And what's awesome about that is uh, I love tripods and the Anchor Power Comp does have a little four, uh, a little quarter inch on the bottom of it to screw into any standard tripod mount. I love the Anchor Power Comp. It's really small. It's really compact. Uh, it runs with it runs on a USB C uh, type cable that easily plugs into the back. There's one included in the box, and I haven't had any problems with this. I haven't had any problems with the PowerComp C200 since, since I've had it. So let's switch back to our more traditional view here. And uh, yeah, thank you, Anchor Adam, for joining today. I appreciate you coming out. Uh, I actually didn't realize you were a streamer too. Oh, well, I am. I am. Look, I got the, uh, I got this. I got this from you. I got this one from you. I'll put it here. <clears throat> Uh, let's, let's, uh, yeah, we can just do it like this. I guess I, it's an anchor product. I got this one from you. I love this thing. This is so great. It's so cute. Uh, but we don't have this one in the carousel today. So I just wanted to show you anchor Adam that I do have it and I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Okay. Uh, let's wrap this one up by me telling you that the anchor power conf is available today for $47.99 and that is on deal. It is 31% off of its regular $69.99 MSRP. Great little webcam, great webcam. And for basically 50 bucks to have 2K resolution and 30 frames a second with two mics, this is going to do pretty much anything that you need it to do, whether it's business related or just leisure related, okay? The Anchor PowerConf C200. Get yours today. <clears throat> okay. Let's do the thing where we drink water and let's talk about next the Fire, the Amazon Fire HD10 tablet. <clears throat> okay, this is the Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. Today, it's available for $84.99. That's a 43% saving. This is regular $150. Today, it is $85. Bucks. This has a camera in the front and a camera in the back. I believe that this is the 10.1-inch screen. Uh, okay, let's hold it up here in our less blurry camera, okay? We'll just hold it up in our less blurry camera for now, and then, uh, and then we'll focus uh, in a minute. Oh, wrong camera. Yeah, I got you. It's okay. It's okay. Here we go. Okay. Like I was saying a moment ago, this is the Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. This is the non-pro version. And the difference between this version and the pro version, to my understanding, is essentially the pro version has a metal back and an extra gigabyte of RAM. And uh, so you get a little more weight with it. You get a little more weight with it. Now, I have this in the official Amazon um, case. Uh, this has 32 gigabytes of onboard storage, I believe, and it has the ability to have its storage expanded. This runs on an Android-based operating system. It's the Amazon tablet, so you're kind of like limited to the Amazon store for apps and whatnot, but you can really easily go to settings, enable the ability to install third-party applications, and then you can sideload the Google Play Store onto this tablet and really unlock a whole robust set of features that make it feel more like a traditional Android tablet and less locked down to the Amazon store where there's not like a great great environment of apps to choose from. You know what I'm saying? So what you might not be able to find in the Amazon store, you can definitely get in, uh, like if you can find it on Google play, it's almost likely that you can install it on your, uh, fire HD 10. Okay. Uh, okay. Camera on the front camera on the back, 10 inch display, run your favorite apps. The IO is pretty straightforward. You have a USB C port for charging. Okay. Sorry about my poor lighting here. We have a USB C port for charging. 
also a power button, uh, as well as volume controls. And then that's pretty much it as far as I.O. And you have a headphone jack as well, of course. Very, very important. Uh, Mima loves this. We got this uh, during the early prime access deals in October. And uh, we got this for 50% off. So I'm kind of just waiting to save that extra 10 bucks. And uh, I'm waiting for the 50% off deal. And we're going to get one of these for Mima's mom. I almost want to get one, but I've got so many great gadgets that I don't exactly need to incorporate a Fire HD 10 tablet currently into my into my uh, into my battle station. But I've been thinking a lot about teleprompter. I've been thinking a lot about teleprompter the last week or so, and I've been thinking a lot about teleprompter. And I know that there's some tablets here that I have that are kind of old. So I don't know how well they, I'm sure it's like teleprompter has got to be the easiest app to run on any OS, but you know, you know, uh, teleprompter seems very cool. I just would get a simple Amazon tablet for, for teleprompter. That would be cool. And then we're always looking at the camera. We got the scripts. It's a little more, it's a little bit, it's, a, it's like another level. You know what I'm saying? You never have to worry about what you're going to say. You can hit the button on the stream deck and send the command to the tablet to pop up the appropriate script for the product that you're talking about. Whoa, whoa, right? What's up, Margaret? Thank you for popping out today. Uh, search fire toolbox and install it. It will automate the side loading, alternate APKs, et cetera. Okay, I'll, I, I took a quick look at fire toolbox and then uh, I only maybe spent like five or 10 minutes on it and then moved on from it. I'll definitely take another look again. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm totally a streamer, Adam, if you're still here. And then obviously everybody knows Anchor Adam, but if you don't, make sure that you're following Anchor. They only have almost 100,000 followers on Amazon, which is absolutely insane. Let's do a quick follower check on our show here right now and see where we're at. We started the show with 2,837 followers. We got, you got to refresh, refresh, refresh this. We didn't move. 2,837. Yeah. All right. That's great. Okay. So uh, we have been turning over a large follower uh, rate since we started here, actively streaming in the middle of October on Clown Live right here on Shopping Dragon. So to go from about just under 1,300 followers to just shy of 3,000 followers is a major accomplishment. Thank you, everybody, for that. But, yeah, if you don't know Anchor Adam or you don't know Anchor, make sure you go and follow the shop. And watch Adam Anch Anchor Adam. He streams, I believe, every Tuesday night. And then once a month, I believe, at the end of the month, he does a really great – giveaway stream and uh, i've been very fortunate on his stream in the past uh that's how i got the rave neo too okay the amazon do we have it highlighted here yeah we do what's up cool shopper uh yeah we have it highlighted here the amazon fire hd 10 tablet did i say check it out did i say that i don't think i said check it out did i i don't think i did i don't think i did uh, this is a great tablet. We got this because Mima was always looking at her phone all the time. I'm like, why don't you just get a bigger screen? So we got this for her. And now this is what she uses. If we didn't need a cell phone service on her phone, I bet you I could almost exclusively get her to stop using her cell phone and exclusively do all of her whatever she likes to do, games and, and social media off the tablet. I bet you I could do that. Uh, once again, the tablet is available today on an extremely great deal. It's 43% off, making it $85. Um, and regularly, um, uh, in general, the average retail value is 150 bucks. So it's 85 bucks today with that 43% off. I just want to reiterate that. Uh, I love this. Mima loves it. I love that Mima has it. I don't use this at all. This is hers. Uh, and yeah, they got the nice case, which I don't have highlighted in my product carousel, but uh, they got the case. It comes in like four different colors and it's got a nice texture to it. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of cases. This is the official case. Okay. What's next in the carousel? Um, uh, I'm looking for an Android tablet with a SIM slot. Yeah. What do you want to use the SIM slot for? Data, data. Okay, let's put the Amazon tablet down. And what was the thing that we're taking a look at now? The Fire TV stick. Okay, we're going to take a look at the box for the Fire TV stick. We're going to take a look at the box for the Fire TV stick. Let's see if we can get our PowerConf to be a little bit more clear. 
Uh, yeah, that looks like it's focusing a little bit better. We'll just see if the if the little bit rate catches up there. And uh, yeah, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. This is the Fire Stick for this is the Fire TV Stick 4K. Now I've actually got mine plugged into the TV. So actually, once again, let's just jump up uh, to mine because I didn't realize this. I got this is what uh, we're watching the show. We're watching we're watching Clown Live on Shopping Dragons on Amazon Live through the Fire Stick right now. This is through the Amazon web browser. And what's really cool about this, I got to show you this, okay? I got to show you this. Let's uh, go home. Let's go home. You have Alexa. You have Alexa on the on the Fire Stick, on the Fire TV Stick. So you can press the blue button to activate Alexa on the remote. I do this every day before the show. Open the web browser. Okay. And then it takes me to the last thing that I was at, which is this live stream. Tomorrow when I do it, it'll be yesterday's live stream. You know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, this is super cool. Uh, maybe we got a problem here with the thing. We could just refresh. And uh, yeah, we're not even going to bother refreshing. Look, you get YouTube apps on this. You get Pluto TV apps. I got local TV from my local broadcast station, CBC, here. I've got some exclusive Canadian apps that Americans can't get, like CBC Gem app, I believe. And uh, yeah, they just released Pluto TV here uh, in Canada app. So I got Pluto TV on here. There's a plethora of apps that you can download. There's a lot of content that is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Was that a. What are we just watching? What was that? No, I don't want to exit. Hold on. Okay, let's turn this down a bit. Yeah, I don't want to see this commercial. Yo, hold on. What what was that Baywatch thing? What was the here's the Baywatch thing? Yo, we gotta check out Baywatch real quick. Did I just see Simon Rex, aka Dirt Nasty? Was that Simon Rex? That's Simon Rex. Yo, that is Simon Rex behind this man in the glasses. That's why I had to jump back. Yo, Simon Rex was in Baywatch. I love Simon Rex. I love Simon Rex, the actor. I love Simon Rex, the rapper, a.k.a. Dirt Nasty. Uh, yo, okay. So, yeah, and this, these are live TV channels. These are live TV channels that are constantly broadcasting channels on Pluto TV. You got Baywatch and the Drew Barrymore show. They got Cheers and, and a comedy channel. And they just, like, show these shows on loop, but it's cool that you get them. They got, like, family ties in this piece. They also have... Uh, they also have like Fear Factor channel and South Park channel. And all these quick things are just features like channels that are running content live always on Pluto TV. There is a huge plethora of content that you can download. And much like the uh, uh, Fire HD 10 tablet, you can also sideload APK on this. You can put your own apps on it uh, that aren't in the store. And that's easy to activate. This supports screen mirroring. So I can sit here and have this act as a third monitor for my laptop if I have my second KYY portable monitor plugged in. And that's cool. I can clone my laptop monitor to the TV. That's cool. If I want to sit here and watch the movie with Mima, uh, the, the Fire TV stick is pretty cool. I thought that it was pretty great that it was on such a great deal. Today, it's 30% off. It's 35 bucks. I got mine for $25 at a brick and mortar store like in eight in, in October and I've been plugging it in and using it since and uh, the and, and it works great it's a wonderful device however the fire cube exists and I feel like I should have got my hands on one of those so I'm kind of just waiting for a fire cube to go on to a very incredible sale and uh, and I'm not chomping at the bit to get the fire cube but the difference is with the fire cube, you can run an ethernet cable into it. And so no Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi. Now I generally don't have issues with Wi-Fi when I'm just watching the fire stick, but I got like a really old router that's like over 10 years old. And it causes me like weird things when I'm trying to watch fire stick and excuse me, look at stuff on the phone. Forget it. But uh, yeah, even still, even still 30% off is a great deal. It's $35 today for the fire stick 4k. Regular 15 bucks, save $15. Okay. Now, uh, it does have some dongles in it. It's got one dongle. I just got, I guess I had two in there when I didn't need to. Uh, 
<laughs> the fire stick is this. The fire stick looks like this, this little box here, but this is not actual size. It does have an HDMI port on it, and the fire stick itself is rather large. So when you plug it into your television, um, you can have like adjacent HDMI plugs obstructed. And if you don't want those ports obstructed, there is a, a little extension that they offer. So it has a female HDMI. You plug the fire stick into here. And then it's just this kind of like little, little dongle that uh, has a regular HDMI port that you can plug into the TV. The fire stick is available for $35. It's a really good deal, actually, $35. Bucks. Um, I'm waiting for, uh, I'm waiting for that fire cube. I want that fire cube. Sea <laughs> bass. Oh my God. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't read out loud what I was looking at. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you for all those uh, people that stream that came in and greeted me here on the stream today. Really appreciate that. That was kind of everybody to pop in. Uh, what's up, Alyssa? How you doing today? We got 25 viewers today. Really appreciate it. We are just kind of chatting away, shooting it. Talking about how I'd like to set up the house in the future. Again, I got I got goals. And, uh, yo, and I saw Simon Rex, I saw Simon Rex on Baywatch today. I'm going to go find that episode and I'm going to watch that episode. I wonder if he had a whole character arc. Okay. Check this out. Open the web browser. Alexa's pretty baller. You can search with it. You can control things with it. Uh, I don't control anything in the house with Alexa because I don't have all those smart products that require that yet. But, uh, yeah, here we are. Good. Okay, we're here. Good. Let's turn this down, though, so that we don't get uh, any type of audio. And then let's refresh our page. So, oh, we just have to hit play. We don't have to refresh. We just have to hit play. Play. Awesome. Okay, great. So that's the Fire TV Stick 4K. And another thing, I plugged mine into the side of my TV, and I'm not certain that that's my 4K port because I can't get my TV resolution to tell me that I'm looking at anything over 1080p. So I think I need to yank it out of the side of the TV and plug it into one of the bottom HDMI ports that might be like 4K supporting. You know how some TVs, not all the ports are 4K. So I don't know. I don't know. I got to figure that out. I can only get 1080p. I can only get 1080p. I don't know. I keep looking at it. What's up, Hefe? Thanks for coming out and hanging out with us today. We're going to keep it moving now from the Fire Stick. And we're going to talk about the Garmin D2 Air X10. I got that right here in my little hand okay let's see if we can get our camera back in place here like we had previously yeah we'll let that build up a little bit of uh bit rate or whatever it'll catch up okay so this is it though this is the garmin d2 air x10 this is a really nice watch that has a gorilla glass 3 face and uh you know and it is a touch screen uh, when you connect this to the Garmin IQ app, you're going to get any type of watch face that you want. There's so many different things that you can download with the watch. This smartwatch has a oxygen saturation level monitor, a step counter, a heartbeat counter. This has GPS built into it, and you can just go walk and monitor your steps and monitor uh, where you're going uh, just with the watch and then come and overlay that into your phone. Later, you can sync it. Uh, this has like swimming applications built into it as well as lifting weights applications and frisbee golf applications all different things designed to like track how you're moving and burning calories this has the ability to give you um messages from your phone so like my instagram and my messenger and like anything that i have set up to give me a push notification i can get that push notification here uh, on the phone. Oh, it looks like I must be in low battery mode. I just enabled it. Why? Why? Um, it doesn't matter that I enabled low battery mode. Let's go home. Okay. How do I disable it? 
Oh, I'm at 6%. That's why it's enabled. I'm in low battery mode right now. That's why uh, I was looking at this different watch face. And that's great. That's another feature about the watch. Once it gets into low battery mode, it's going to turn off the Wi-Fi. It's going to turn off the GPS. It's going to turn off your pulse ox monitor. It's going to turn off all these things so that you can extend the life of the battery a little bit longer. Uh, so that's a great feature. This Garmin D2 Air X10 is made out of stainless steel and plastic and comes with a silicone strap that I've since replaced with a nylon one after determining that I had an allergic reaction to the strap. <coughs> what's up, Leslie Sheffield? <clears throat> hey, what's up, G-Zone? Hey, what's up, Collector's Conquest? Yo, it's nice to see you here. That's a nice TV. Thank you, Jessica A. Uh, yeah. Okay. So then, yes, the Garmin D2 Air X10 is a really great watch. It has these aviation features that uh, detect when you're flying in the air and can determine when to start tracking your tracking your flight path. And it offers METAR weather reports, uh, weather readings, which are like you can get air air. Uh, excuse me. You can get weather updates from your closest airport. That's that's what that is. And there's a few other aviation things in here. A very similar watch to the Garmin D2 Air X10 is the Garmin Venue 2. Uh, the Garmin D2 Air X10, this watch here, it has Spotify Premium integration. So you can have your Spotify Premium account set up a playlist that, of songs that you like. And then, and then over Wi-Fi, write those songs to this watch. You don't require Spotify Premium in order to listen to music on the watch. You can just download your MP3s to the watch just the same. Uh, this has Bluetooth in it, so you can Bluetooth it to your headphones or your phone, right? But uh, with the music, you can just have Bluetooth headphones and the watch. You don't need any intermediate device to control that. Um, furthermore, the Garmin D2 Air X10, it has a speaker built into it. So you can two-way voice through your phone and have a phone conversation through the watch. Uh, and you can listen to that music through this watch. This watch is waterproof. And uh, I've been banging it on a lot of stuff since I've had it for almost a year. And I haven't really scratched the face at all yet on it. Pretty comfortable watch. And uh, yeah, it looks nice. It feels good. And this is a mid-level watch that I'm showing you by Garmin. Not on deal today. 550 bucks, But it has a four and a half star review with 51 reviews. Uh, I like the watch. It's very robust uh, in features. And you can only unlock more features by downloading apps that are in the Connect IQ store. And all the body, all the body battery stuff and all the Garmin health stuff that's built into this watch, it's like it's too much to even you couldn't even live a lifestyle doing every single thing that's on this watch. That's how much there is to do on the watch. Okay. The Garmin D2 Air X10 is available today though for $550. Do, 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 do. Everybody's greeting everybody in the chat. I love it when everybody says hello to everyone. Okay, let's move on from the Garmin D2 RX10 and talk about oh, the Govi outdoor string lights don't have a price. So let's go get the I know that they're regular, like a hundred bucks, but let me open up the show here real quick and see what happens. See, they're marked as 69.99. Oh, this is the 48 foot length. This is the 48 foot length. Let's scroll down. I don't have the 96 foot length. Uh, okay, they're the same lights. I can talk about them. I just can't. Okay, I'll, I'll talk about them. Okay, cool. We'll talk about them. Uh, let's go back to my show here so I can see myself. Okay, these are the Govi Outdoor String Lights, and uh, right now they're kind of marked currently unavailable because there's no 96-foot lengths, okay? I'm showing you a 96-foot length, but currently only available are 48-foot length boxes, okay? So I just want to be really clear about that before I carry on. Uh, you know, I'm still learning Amazon, and I just know like when there's not a cost, I got to figure it out. And these are the same product. These are the same product, just in different lengths, okay? So this is 96 feet. So we're going to talk about 48 foot. We're going to talk about 48 feet. We're going to talk about half of this. So what you get with the Govi 48 foot length outdoor string lights is 15 IP65 weather resistant bulbs. 
These bulbs are made of plastic, okay? They're shatterproof, but they're probably not crush proof. Right now, I'm showing you solid green lights, but hey, what's up, Victoria? But you can uh, individually address these bulbs with the Govi app. They have different themes and scenes. These are reactive to music. You can adjust their brightness. Not only do they do colors, but they do white and like warm yellow colors. So you can have fun party lights and ambient lights as well. Uh, these are really, really fun. And like I said, we're looking at the 96 feet length. If you click through the carousel today, it seems only available is the 48 foot length. With the 48 foot length, you're going to get 15, 15 of these uh, bulbs, 15 of these shatterproof bulbs um, on one 48 foot length. These are IP65 weather resistant bulbs. There's a little control box that uh, the control box is uh, here in my hand. It's just a little box that has a power button on it. And the control box is also weather resistant. It's IPX5 weather resistant. And then it goes into a power adapter that's just kind of hanging out on the floor here, this extension cord. And uh, that's not weather resistant at all. And it's very close to the power cord. So you want to be uh, sure of that. So the go, hey, what's up, Natalie? Thanks for following. Appreciate you coming out today. We are just talking about the Govi Outdoor String Lights. Now, today, we don't see a price in our carousel, but if you click through the carousel, you can get the 48-foot length of these Govi Outdoor String Lights today for, I think it said, like, 70 bucks. $69.99. 70 bucks today for a 48-foot length. Uh, the the 96 foot length is regular, like a hundred bucks, I think, when it's available. So uh, these are the Govi outdoor string lights, four and a half views with over two thousand reviews. Now we're gonna take a look at the pluggable dock. Let's do that. <clears throat> okay, this is the pluggable dual monitor docking station. Uh, Mike is muted. Oh, that's because I'm looking at the wrong thing. We just go here. Mike not muted. Uh, this is the pluggable dual monitor docking station. This is a really cool docking station that I'm super stoked to get hooked up on this very desk right here. I'm just waiting for a clamp to come in the mail. Today's Thursday. It should be here tomorrow. Hopefully by next Monday when we come back for streaming, I should have the whole triple monitor arm at least set up. I'm going to dig out some monitors and put my monitors on there. I got like some 23 inch monitors maybe. And the, and the, uh, the, the monitor arms are good for up to 32 inch monitors. And I keep looking at 32 inch monitors and even like, even the Amazon's choice monitors are just shy of 200 bucks. So I'm spending like, you know, at least 600 bucks on an all new monitor setup. I don't know if I'm ready to do that yet. Okay. But this is the pluggable dock itself here. Here we have it. We're looking at it. It's right in this camera where my hand is shaking. This is the pluggable dock. It has a display port. You know, I kept referring to it as like a proprietary USB. I, I didn't understand display port, but I think we're going to learn now uh, that this is the display port. This is the display port. This is the single cable that you run from this, from this dock to your laptop, okay? And it serves as a one cable solution to offer you an HDMI monitor, a DVI monitor out, uh, uh, a Cat5, as uh, an Ethernet port, as well as four HD, uh, excuse me, as well as four USB 2.0 ports. And on the front of the pluggable dock, it features two USB 3.0 ports, as well as a headphone and a microphone jack uh, port in. This is really great so that like, uh, look, look at my laptop right now. Look at my laptop right now. I've got power, internet, two USBs. One of them's running to a hub and then another USB-C running to a monitor. Uh, I got all this stuff running out of the side of the laptop at all times. It's going to be great to plug all that stuff into here and then just have one cable run from here to the laptop. It's going to be easy to make that laptop extremely portable. And I'm super psyched on that. This pluggable USB 3.0 dual monitor dock is available today for $96.39. And uh, that's 42% off deal right now. Uh, it's regular $165. It's on for $96.50. $96.39 today for the pluggable dual monitor docking station uh, with the display link. With the display link. I think that's this one here. 
And uh, you get also, you get a DVI to VGA adapter as well as a DVI to HDMI adapter. So you can connect whichever two monitors you need to connect to it, okay? This is the pluggable dock, pretty affordable price today. Pluggable makes some other docks like this that do like uh, 4K stuff. This one isn't quite 4K. I think this is good for 1080p monitors uh, only. Hold on, let me see, let me be reminded. Resolutions up to 4K at 50 hertz when using a single HDMI display. 256, uh, 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 um, excuse me, 2560 by 1440 at 50 hertz. 1440, that's not 4K. 1440 is not 4K, right? What is, uh, what, is the, what is the resolution when it's uh, uh, 2560 by 1440? What is it, 2560 by 1440? That is your maximum resolution. Is that 4K, Rover? Is that, is that 4K? 2560 by 1440. Hey, what's up, Brenda Haynes? Thanks for popping out today. Yo, I appreciate everybody coming out and hanging out on today's show. Uh, we're going to keep it moving and talk. Oh, yeah. Also, don't forget to follow G Zone. He put his link in the chat one minute ago. G Zone's dope. He's talking about some pretty cool products. He's got some chairs. He's got some iPods. Uh, he's got some AirPods, excuse me. And he's got uh, a bunch of other cool stuff that is definitely worth checking out. And he plays the guitar. And he looks really cool in his Kangol hat. So make sure that you uh, subscribe to Z. Uh, make sure that you follow G Zone here on Amazon Live, okay? Follow his live stream or follow his shop link to follow him on both spots. 4K? Yeah. It, oh, Ashley says 2K. Ashley Waltman says 2K. Well, if it's 2K, then so be it. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was. 3840 is 4K. Is that 2560 by 1440? 2560 by 1440? Uh, but you can put out up to that resolution on a single HDMI monitor. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that it's like 4K. I'm going to go ahead and guess that it is 4K. So you get 4K on one monitor and then probably 1080p on the other monitor. So pretty easy to have like a, a sweet three monitor, uh, 1080p three monitor setup with that docking station. You have the 1080p native resolution on your on your laptop. You have and then two 1080p monitors or you could run one out to the TV. You could run a 4K out to the TV. And uh, that could be cool. Dual monitor at the desk with the 4K resolution running out to the television. The options are endless. Uh, and you, if you can fit it in your budget, I think you're going to be satisfied with it. Okay, let's move on now. Let's drink some water and fill our cup and then talk about the Ninja Blender, okay? Am I totally off screen here? Oops, I spilled water. I'm a bad little boy. Excuse me. Throat's dry on a Thursday afternoon. What time is it? Almost 6.30? How many products do we got left? Oh, so delicious. Water's so good. Jennifer Lude, Blake, if you get a throw rug, you can lay it on top of the extension cord on the floor. Then you don't have to worry about them. Yeah, um, well, you know what? I always, always show concern about the uh, extension cord cable on the floor but uh generally speaking it is tucked under the table i literally just stretched it out just now for the uh light demo uh but at the end of the day at the end of the day the cable yeah the ethernet cable it protrudes from under the television so at the end of the day we put the rubber mat we put the rubber mat on the ethernet cable so that we don't trip on it uh moving all about the house <clears throat> excuse me there we go that's not so bad uh yeah so yeah that's just yeah i i know you know what i stepped on it i can't believe you commented on that jeez you know the only time i pretty much ever ever stepped on that cable on a thing and you made a comment about it i always keep it tucked under the table you got me you got me today jennifer lude you got me today Okay, let's keep it going though. I thought they were running across. No, no, no. This is the that's the extension cord for everything that we test on the show. Uh, I got a little three three prong, uh, a little three uh, plug outlet plugged into an extension cord. <clears throat> All right, be constantly bending under the table, right where the green lights are. That's where the plug is. Um, no race today. Yeah, it's a sad day that there's no race today. 
Um, okay, let's keep it moving with the Ninja Blender. Oh, it's raining hard outside. I wondered what that noise was. I wondered what that noise was. It's the rain. Okay. This is, we got to put it way back here to fit in frame. Here's our chopper. Okay. This is the Ninja QB 1004 blender. I don't know what the word is. Uh, I got to look it up. Kind of fault, kind of like, uh, here. Oh, blender food processor chopper. Blender food processor chopper. The Ninja QB 1004 food processor with 50 watt base, 48 ounce pitcher, 16 ounce chopper bowl, and 40 ounce processor bowl for shakes, smoothies, and meal prep. That's exactly what I wanted to say. It's the QB 1004 blender and food processor. That's the words that I want to use. This is the Ninja QB 1004 food processor and blender. This has four and a half stars with uh, 50, almost 16,000 ratings, and it's $55.99 today. Now, hey, what's up, Bill? Taking a break from remodeling to watch some Clown Live. Yo, that's a smart move. I like hearing that. Thank you for joining us here on Clown Live. You know, we do it every day, uh, every weekday. And uh, I don't know how many products we got left, but we're right on the Ninja Blender right now. I just started talking about it, Bill. And uh, this thing is awesome because what I like the most about it uh, before I continue and telling you what I like the most about this Ninja Blender product, uh, I want you to know that I don't have the 30 ounce, is it 30 ounce it was? It was called the 30 ounce boy, uh, 48, 16, 40 ounce processor. I don't have the 40 ounce processor bowl. I just have the blender and the 16 ounce chopper bowl today. So when I'm telling you, okay, today that it's $55.99, you get more than just these two products. When you click through the carousel and add this to your cart, you're going to get the 40-ounce chopper bowl as well. But what I was saying, Bill, about what I like about this is that you have one 450-watt motor included with the kit. And I love that because it saves so much um, It saves so much kitchen space instead of having everything have its own individual motor. Now, the QB1004, the Ninja, I'm going to call it the Ninja Blender. It's really cool because it's got this great lid on it that has like a groove in it so that you can fit that 450 watt motor in there very well. It just sits on top of this plastic gear that is connected to the blade. And we pull this off. It doesn't snap on or sit into place really tightly. It's gravity holding this into place. And when it's time to pour, I always make sure that my thumb's on the back so that the lid doesn't fall off because it will, it will. Okay. But it does have a pouring spout, does have a pouring spout. So that's why I was just letting you know that now the blade that is included in this. Okay. Is a nice little black shaft that is kind of like geared on the top to fit the motor. And then uh, it has that three blade design, uh, two blade. It's three tiers of blades for six blades total. And these are nice sharp stainless steel blades and they attach to like a little protruding piece of steel at the bottom of the blender so really easy to pop on it spins pretty well there's no bearings or anything in here to uh, do that and then we put our lid on the top and then we put our motor on the top of that right so let's move the blender out of the way for a second it's literally literally the exact same concept for the 16 ounce food chopper as well it's the same type of lid with that proprietary notch in order to fit the engine. And when you pull the blade out of here, what's cool about the chopping blade is yes, it is two sets of two blades, but we can turn clockwise the blade and remove the top tier blade. Okay, let me show you that again. We can remove the top tier blade and just have the bottom blade exposed for a little less puree and a little more chop, okay? But it's really easy to add the other blade. You just put it into place. Uh, and twist it until it locks into place, and then uh, turn it back a quarter inch. Yo, I hope my power doesn't go out. It's raining exceptionally hard. I usually have pretty good power, but if the power goes out, uh, it's raining really, really hard right now. Uh, yeah, so like I'm showing you, uh, the same thing in the blender that it is in the chopping dish. It just has that little metal uh, shaft that protrudes from the bottom of the dish. Easy to line the blade up, and then we put the lid on. Now, the lid for the chopper does go on a special way. It can only go, go on one way or it'll be crooked when you put it on. And uh, it doesn't matter what way you put it on. You just have to turn it until it slots into place. See how, see how like there's kind of a gap here. And then we turn it 
and then it pops into place. That's how it should be. Now we can put our motor on it. Uh, once you have it in place, it lines up very well. And then the big silver button is bring, bring, bring. Okay, you just hit the button and it purees, it shreds. Uh, the blender makes smoothies. And uh, the other one is the bowl that I don't have. The Ninja Blender is available today for $55.99, and that's on deal. It's 7% off. Regular, this is $60. Bucks. Today, it's $56. Vicky J. Tier, tier, Trier, Trierweller, Trier, Trierweller, Trier, Trierweller. Uh, yo, Vicky J. Yo, thanks for joining Clown Live. Welcome to the show. We are just talking about some awesome, awesome Amazon products here today. And uh, we're just wrapping up with the price of the Ninja Blender. It's $56 today. It's 9% off of its regular $60 ARV. And uh, yeah, one other thing I want to show you that applies to both the blender and the chopper uh, that's hiding behind the blender here is once we are done, we can take our lids off and pull our blade out. I want to be careful with the blade on my desk. I don't want to scratch the desk. And uh, yeah, there's these nice, there's these nice lids that are low profile lids that just fit right on top of your, uh, of your uh, thing really easy of your pitcher or your chopper. And then, uh, yeah, you can have your drinks in there like that. And that's pretty cool. You can keep whatever you got in here, your smoothies, a little bit fresher, a little bit longer. I make hummus in the chopper. And then when I'm done, I don't even take anything out of other than the blade. And now I got a bowl that I can put a lid on and it's good to go. And it has a little rubber stopper down here. It's got like a whole, it's got like a whole rubber thing that helps, uh, prevented from moving easily on steady surfaces. Uh, and yeah, 56 bucks. Okay, let's move on from this. Let me get this blade back in here. And let's get all this stuff put back on the table. Excuse me. And let's see what's next on our carousel. Popco tongs, Prex Tex, Prex Tex. Okay. So we just got these three things left over and then we got, and then that's it for physical products. Really digging the split screen. Hey, thank you very much. You know, it's just kind of like a, uh, it's just kind of like, uh, instead of always having to hold it up, I can put it on the table. Now I am getting some scratches on the table, which is undesirable, but I plan on getting like a different table soon, like a table right here, you know? And uh, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. Uh, but thank you, Bill. Thank you for saying that you're digging the split screen. Let's talk about the original Popco tongs. I'll put these on the split screen for you, Bill, and you can see them. These are stainless steel and silicone coated uh, tongs. They come in a set of three. They come in different colors. Uh, let's put the big one in the front so we can. Let's put the little one in the front here like that okay these are the tongs these are the tongs they come in three different sizes the green one is the biggest one the red one is the medium one and this uh, yellow one here is the baby one and these are cool they've got like nice thumb grips uh oh let's not drag they got nice thumb grips in the silicone handles and when you try to flex them like yeah they move like but barely they barely move and uh you can close these and pull the back out to lock them into place Excuse me. And if colors aren't your thing, I learned this the other day. If colors aren't your thing, you can click through the carousel and add these popco tongs to your to your cart uh, in black. They offer them in black, not just the green, red, and orange colors here that we see now. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple tongs. I mean, there's not a lot to go on about. They look nice. I like the colors myself, but personally. Which way do we go? This way. I like the colors myself personally, but they do offer them in black, like I said. And this is 62% off. These are $11.49 today for the set of three. They are regularly priced for $30, and you can get them today for a whopping 62% off. And with over 15,500 reviews, these original Popco tongs have a five-star rating. So you absolutely cannot go wrong when you consider original Popco tongs. Heads up, put your head up and look at this amazing deal today. 62% off that $30 price point, making these Popco original tongs 1149. 
Let me know if the black ones, somebody click through the carousel right now and let me know if the black ones are also $11.49 today, okay? Let me know, let me know. And let me know if there's any coupons going on with these. I mean, can you get them a cheaper than $11.49? That would be outrageous, outrageous. Let me know if you can get the black ones for $11.50 today. And uh, while you're letting me know about that great deal on black tongs, we're going to talk about Prex Text Plush Dinosaurs. Yeah, I got the dinosaur house first. I got to pull all the dinosaurs out of it. Oh, actually, no, I don't. Oh, man, I got to dig out the dinosaurs. No, I don't. They're in this box, right? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, I got all my dinosaurs in a row here. It's really, really raining hard. Let me open the door. Can you hear the rain? Well, it's not raining as hard as I thought, <laughs> but it's still raining out there. It sounds like a lot. You know, we had a white Christmas here before we talk about these Prex text dinosaurs. We had a white Christmas here in uh, in Southern Ontario. And then, and then all the rain came and melted all the snow away for Christmas. And after that, it's just been green. It's just been green, like winter outside. It's been like autumn outside. It's the end of January now, okay? It's basically the 18th. Uh, you know, that's not the middle of the month anymore, I don't think. And so, yeah, it's still just raining outside, like, often, and it's not snowing out here. So I'm pretty excited. <laughs> We're going to have a nice short winter, but I bet the winter days that we get are going to be blistering cold. Like, we can't have no winter so when February and March arrive, we're going to have some snow. We're going to definitely get snow in February. But, uh, yeah, can't be much more than maybe eight or ten weeks. That doesn't sound like too, too much. I'm pretty excited about it uh, personally, okay? I'm not a big fan of the snow. Uh, black are $12.99, red $11.49. They make them um, – so, wait, you're saying that they make them in black and red and in triple color as well? That's cool. I'd rather have rain than snow. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But I'd always rather be, man, uh, one time I heard this and I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. So that's how I feel. But uh, what would you rather be too hot or too cold? I feel like I would rather be too cold because you can always put more on, but you, you can be too hot and not take enough off. Right. So I don't like the cold. I don't want to be cold, but I'm just saying if I had to choose whether I was too hot or too cold, I think I would rather be too cold because I can always put more on me. Wait till April 21st, 2023. You'll get hit with a blizzard. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I know all about that. We usually get like uh, April showers, bring May flowers. And usually in April, we get like some nice spring flowers that pop up near the end of the month. The grass is back. It's green. And it's a really nice lush spring green. Like it's just starting the season um, healthy. And then we get like a nice snowfall near the end of April and everything is all like collected. All the snow is collected on these beautiful spring uh, flowers and everything. And it's a really strange, uh, it's really strange to look at all that when I see it. Uh, I never get used to it. Snow in springtime is crazy. Okay, let's keep it going now here with the Prex Text Dinosaur Volcano House with plush dinosaurs. What I got here is exactly that. This is it here. Okay, we'll hold it up. We'll hold it up. This is the Prex Text box. Bang. Okay, the Prex Text Dinosaur House looks like this. It's really nice. It's got like a textured kind of feel to it. It's not just lines that are drawn on it. I like that the rocks are painted different colors instead of just being one solid color. It gives it a nice uh, aesthetic for being a, a volcano house for dinosaurs for toddlers. I like this. It has a little loop on the top that is good for a toddler's hand to hold. Or if you want to hang it up, you can do that as well. Now, when we open the dinosaur volcano house, everybody's been sleeping. Wake up, everybody. It's time to do Amazon. Okay, let's check everybody out. Uh, we got this guy, gray boy. I think he might be a stegosaurus. I don't know my dinosaurs. Uh, we got Greeny. Okay, he's doing his thing. They like to hang out in the dinosaur house together. We got the T-Rex. Here's T-Rex. He's got a cute little tail. Okay, he wants to show you his booty today and his teeth. He means business, but he's also ready to party. Okay? Uh, and then also we got the Triceratops. Okay, here's Triceratops. And then uh, finally we got the Brontosaurus. Now, we all know that the Brontosaurus, we know what the Brontosaurus looks like, don't we? 
The Brontosaurus looks like the coolest dinosaur in the pack of five. That's right. This is the Brontosaurus. He's got a cute little head and a long neck, and he's pretty awesome. And he fits inside this dinosaur house with his pals. Now, the inside of the dinosaur house is not textured, okay? It's just, like, not textured. And the dinosaur house door is a zipper. The dinosaur house door is a zipper. So this is really fun to... Uh, to uh, for toddlers the dinosaurs are really soft they're really like squishy they almost feel like a um they almost feel like a uh like a uh, microfiber cloth but they're not microfiber i don't think i don't think they feel like it they almost kind of look like it don't they but yeah really soft dinosaurs they have plastic eyes okay and that's the only hard plastic that is on these toys uh is just the eyes everything else is a nice plush plush uh plush fabric uh what's up amy w Blake going through his first childhood again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wake up. Time to do Amazon. Yeah, that's right. Wake up, dinosaurs. It's time to do Amazon. Yo, tell your friends the same because we're about to get into the eight pack of dinosaurs. But before we do, I want you to know that this Prex Tex five piece stuffed dinosaurs and volcano house is available today for $30. That's on deal. It's 14% off. And this is another product that has a five star review with over 3,000 reviews, okay? Uh, so, you know, when you hit those five-star reviews, you know that you're getting a pretty quality product. I'm 40 years old. This isn't designed for me, and these are the cutest guys. These are the cutest guys, right? Look at the T-Rex. I love the, look at the Brontosaurus. He's so cool. Look, the Brontosaurus has a, a white belly. Oops. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't fall too hard, Brontosaurus. Okay, that's the Brontosaurus. Okay, let's put these guys back in their volcano home, okay? We'll open up the volcano door here like this. And then, uh, yo, you guys all did a great Amazon job today. T-Rex, thank you very much. Okay, Brontosaurus, you did great. Uh, Triceratops, you did awesome as well. Good job. Uh, and then Stegosaurus, you did really great. Chilling in the back today. Appreciate you. Uh, and then other green dinosaur, who I don't know who you are. You also did a good job. You definitely deserve that little dinosaur smile that you got stitched into your face. Good job. I like your light green belly. You're a cutie. You're a cutie. Now get in your home, okay? And then we zip them in until the next time it's time to talk about them. This is the Prex Tex Dinosaur Stuff Dinosaurs, excuse me, uh, Volcano Hut, Volcano House, I mean to say. Uh, this is a $30 toy. Okay, let's move on. We're going to leave the Prex Tex Volcano House box on the table okay and then we're going to jump back in our carousel real quick here to the prex tex plush dinosaurs eight pack now we keep the dinosaurs eight pack in the old volcano box because the uh the uh the eight pack came like in a bag and so when we opened them we had to dispose of the bag yo here's the whole crew come on out everybody uh, and we can move the box for now so these are actually smaller dinosaurs than what we saw on the um, – these are actually smaller dinosaurs than what we get with the Volcano House. They look a little smaller, okay? But we got these guys. We got a little Triceratops, okay? I don't know. We got like Stegosauruses. I'm not here to name dinosaurs because I'm not good at it. But, yeah, look, we got this nice yellow guy. Look, we can put them like a little – we can put them like a little fashion show, okay, where they can come out and walk the walkway, and then they, you know, and then they go to the side, and then they all come out. They can all come out the walkway. We got the Triceratops, like I said, and we got some really fun guys. Uh, everybody's got fun little bellies, I guess, that are really soft, and you can press them and tickle them, but they're like, don't take action. These are just stuffed animals. Okay, so we got this boy coming out, and he's doing his thing, and then he's going over here. And uh, we can move our camera. We can move the camera to get everybody in the shot. And then this one, I don't know what this guy's name is, but he stands. He stands up. And then, look, we got a baby Brontosaurus doing his thing. Okay? He, he stops in the middle. He shows you his tail. And then he keeps on going. He keeps on moving. And he's got that killer smile. Look at that smile, okay, on the Brontosaurus. And, uh, yeah, boom. And then, and then everybody's favorite, everybody's favorite after the Brontosaurus comes the t-rex here comes the t-rex he comes down the line and uh he's not intimidating he looks scary but he's not scary he's got these sharp teeth but he only bites hard if you ask him nicely okay <laughs> okay and uh yeah he's got a nice cute little tail and a little fin here on the back and we can pop him in the front 
And uh, yeah, these are the boys. These, This is the crew, okay? This is the pack of eight stuffed plushies. What's up, Lydia? We, uh, no, Freddy. Freddy, not yet. <laughs> Freddy, not yet, okay? Calm down. What's up, Lydia C? Thanks for coming out. Amy W., the dinosaurs are definitely on the catwalk tonight in full effect. They're all looking super great. And uh, if you would like to own these Prex Tex plush dinosaurs, they also have a five-star rating and are available today for $28.99. So $29 for this set of eight little plush animals. And uh, let me just show you real quick. Let me show you the the T-Rex from the dinosaur house real quick, okay? I just want you to see that these are different sizes. So let me wake these guys up again and uh, let's get in here. Here's the brontosaurus. Okay, here's the little brontosaurus. Here's the big one, right? Uh, and they're, they're look, he towers over him. He towers over him. And the same with the T-Rex. We'll show the T-Rex size difference as well. Uh, let's move our brontosaurus, our brontosauri. Here's our little T-Rex. And then here's our big T-Rex. He towers over him. Let's move the whole crew back. There we go. So we can see that there is a difference in size between the large plush animals with the volcano house and the smaller uh, animals that don't come with the volcano house. OK. All right. Let's get these guys put away. And like I said, the eight piece dinosaur uh, Prex Tex plush dinosaurs are available today for twenty eight ninety nine. <clears throat> these are really soft. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they feel like a microfiber cloth almost. I bet you I could like if, if I had one of these, I would clean my glasses with them for sure. Okay, y'all did great today. Thank you. Oops. Oops. Okay, what else do we got in the carousel? That's it. That's it. We did all our physical products. Awesome. Okay. Um, oh, my belly. Yeah, that's there. Well, we can cut to this other camera. My bad. Here we are. What up, though? Uh, yo, we did it. We covered all our physical products. Now we're going to take a look at our B-roll stuff. Yeah, no roll call today, unfortunately. A sad, a sad, sad time today. You know what? Uh, I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit for the last few products. I think that's a smart move for me. Let me get my chair out here. And let me turn off one set of studio lights. Nice. And uh, I think everything else is good. Let's uh, let's uh, get our water. Oh, sorry for banging on my desk. Uh, and let's go down with the desk. Okay, I'm making the biz sound. Sorry about that. Okay, the desk is already down. All right, let's get our webcam sorted. Uh, how do we do that? Alt button. My hair is so fuzzy today. Okay, and then uh, what? One of these? No, one of these. It's pretty good. We look good there. Okay, let's get our show set up for the last few items in our carousel. Look how white my face is from these lights. Okay, let's do this. And we're going to get this show ready real quick. Give me 10 seconds. Probably need more than 10 seconds. Uh, okay, we're going to talk about the rolling mobile cart first. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay. Bang. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, TV stand. We're going to talk about the TV stand right now. Let me share my screen with y'all. Looks good. I think we're good here. Okay. So... <clears throat> Oh yeah, and we're done with the uh, we're done with the other camera. So hide this. Say goodbye to the other camera. Goodbye, everybody. Leave studio. And then there, and then there was me. Yay! Okay, we're back. All right, let's jump like this, <clears throat> and let's talk about this uh, rolling mobile TV cart with wheels for thirty-two to seventy-five inch LCD LED four K flat screen TVs. Okay, this is a $200 stand today. It's Amazon's choice in stands and has four and a half stars with almost 2,000 reviews. And um, 
And uh, yeah, I was looking at this because I'm just looking at different options for how like the future of the Amazon streams is going to look. And I like to daydream and I like to think about how things are going to be. And I got the new, I got the desk here, you know, and the desk is great. And I'm going to get the monitors all set up on it. But then I looked at this. I looked at this and I see that it's got a little table for your laptop. So this is good for like presentations. I know that I could probably make good use of this in some type of scenario. You know what I mean? Not like a presentation like that. I would never wear, you would never catch me in a, in a business suit like that. Um, yeah. Mount, shelf, wheels, pretty straightforward. I don't know if y'all know this about me or not, but I love wheels. I love things that I can just move around easily on wheels. I like that it's got the wide base and that the wheels lock. No wall damage. It's made out of steel and not plastic. See the others. Look at the others. They give you that slim base. Splicing design spends time to install. Uh, and it doesn't have a camera or an AV shelf. No thanks. Okay. No thanks. Look at Pearlsmith. Look at what you get with Pearlsmith. High quality steel base construction that ensures safety. You know what I'm saying? A one piece base design is making it easy to install and it has a camera and AV shelf to store more like your laptop. This is the real deal, people. Okay. We're looking at it. This is where it's at. Cable management systems, adjustable height features. Uh, you're going to be the talk of the office. You know, and this is my house is my office now, I guess, since I work from home. So I guess I could just like talk about myself and my new sick desk. I'll be like, yeah, I got the I got the rolling mobile table from Pearl Smith now. It's pretty great. I'm doing pretty great. I'm thinking about giving myself a raise, uh, you know, because I'm so smart at making decisions and buying this Pearl Smith uh, uh, desk is a, was a great idea. Okay. Jokes aside though, this, this, this table is a, uh, this rolling desk is available for 197 99 today. And it does have a coupon. Let's jump down to ratings real quick. Um, let's uh, jump down to the ratings real quick. Let's see all indoor customer images. There's not too many. Let's click through some of these images. I know they're kind of small, but this is what we get. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what you get. That's what you get. Backplate too short for 75. Had to improvise. Okay, well, at least you made do with what you had. That's a smart move. Comes packed in a box. I like the adjustable TV height and the adjustable the adjustable shelf. Absolutely. This is this is a, this is like uh, I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't necessarily consider this to be like living room furniture. But I want to put it in my living room, but I don't want to use it like traditionally for living room stuff. But, you know, whatever. I just see this kind of like, I don't know. Where do you put the speakers? You know what I mean? You just listen to the TV speakers? I don't think so. I don't think so. Would it work in front of my treadmill? Uh, would it work in front of my treadmill like a TV stand? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, respectfully, that's exactly what it is. It is a TV stand, right? And then it also has that little shelf there for your accessory, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, look at these people are using it outside. That's a smart move, eh? A, a little setup outside with the big TV. That's smart. If you don't have a projector, that could be a big time game changer. You could put bigger wheels on it if you were using it outside. That is really cool to think about. Uh, oh, look at these. Look at these people. They tucked it in back behind a piece of... Uh, art like a piece of boat a boat table or whatever that's pretty cool how big speakers um how big speakers i well i don't know i don't know the table doesn't look like it's too too big but the, okay so the table doesn't look like it's too big but look at how big the base is look how big the base is the base is definitely looking like you could fit like a couple of speakers down there now, if you're not sitting at this for a desk, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you could consider putting some speakers down there for a presentation. I have a projection screen outside. Yo, you want to see something real cool real quick? You want to see something? I got some new packages today. I'll show you. I'll show you some packages I got today. Hold on. Okay. 
Are you looking? We can only show them real quick, okay? We got this one. We got the Nebula capsule today, okay? Pretty excited about that. And uh, we got the uh, Mars 2 Pro, so pretty excited about those things. And, uh, yeah, so... But those things, the, the projectors are different. You know what I mean? Projectors are different in the sense that, like, you're going to cast that on the wall, you know? So the projectors are definitely great for indoor use. The projectors are great for outdoor use. But there's something here about, like, having the TV on this rollable thing. When I saw this picture a couple pictures ago when it was outside on the porch, my brain was just like, look at this. My brain was just like, oh, okay. Okay, this is what I need. I need this for outside. I need this for outside, for doing live streams outside. Let's take a look at a few more pictures here. Look, another outside, another outside option. Yeah, this is a smart move if you're trying to save space. If you're trying to look at, they got it in an office here in a training room. This is great. Uh, a lot of practical applications. You can put this in front of your exercise equipment. Absolutely. You know? You could, you could put this in front of your exercise equipment and put like a Bluetooth speaker on the desk and then just like uh, Bluetooth your audio to it. You know what I'm saying? That would be cool. I was looking at like maybe a Tribit speaker, Tribit speaker, I mean to say. Yeah, this is really cool. I could probably spend uh, all day reading and looking at this. But uh, anyway, the, the uh, Pearlsmith rolling mobile TV cart with wheels supports up to a 32 to 75 inch TV and is available today for $197.99 and it has a 10% off coupon. This is pretty great. This is a pretty cool thing. Okay, let's keep it moving now. We're going to talk about the Shocks OpenCom and oh, I didn't have that rolling table highlighted the whole time. That's okay. Uh Open Run Pro. We're okay, hold on. I just always want to be talking about the right products at the right times. Uh, OpenCom UC bone conduction headphones, Shocks Open Run Pro. Well, we'll go by the carousel. Let me grab a product page here real quick. I got these videos. Um, let me search for these videos real quick and search for Open Run. Do we not find Open Run? Oh, opener. No. Um, um, give me a quick second here because I just want to be. Oh, this. Excuse me. I was looking in the wrong spot. I was looking in the wrong spot. I was looking in the wrong spot. Okay, here we go. Open run. We're talking about open run pro today. <coughs> Shocks open run pro bone conduction headset. Let's take a look at the Justin video. We got a Justin video here. Um, me pause this. Pause this real quick. Excuse me. Let's drink some more water, and then we're going to get back into it, okay? I just kind of got put off because we had a video open for Nate, and he was talking about the Shocks Open Calm. But in our carousel, we're taking a look today at the Open Run Pro. And uh, so we're going to take a look at that video right now. And this is going to be a video submitted to us by Dragon Blogger Justin. So what I would love for you all to do... If you're out there today and you have the ability to help, let's get the likes up on these videos. I'm going to put the link to the video that we're about to watch in the chat right now. If you can head over there and like the video, that would be great. It looks like I'm like number eight. So I'd really appreciate that uh, if you are capable. Okay. And so with that, with that, let's take a look at the Shocks Open Run Pro Bone Conduction Headphones. Any difference between the open move and the open run? is the open move do not have a microphone. The open run have a dual noise canceling microphone so that you can use it to talk on calls as well, not just listen to music. And the squeak ears go back. The open run also come with a much nicer carrying case. Part clamshell carrying case, much nicer quality carrying case than the open move with just this pouch. Again, similar design except it has dual microphones, one to cancel the noise in the background and the other one to talk into. The open move does not have a microphone at all, so you can't make conference calls with it. This one, you can make conference calls. 
Um, really nice fit. Also more battery life. It's 10 hours with the Open One Pro versus six hours with the Open Move. So this is the Open Run Pro by Aftershocks. Again, it, it's an upgraded version. It, the one thing is it doesn't use USB-C. It uses this magnetic pin charging, which in some ways is better in some ways and worse than others. So rather than using a USB-C, which you have to plug in and unplug, it uses a magnetic charger, which you just clip, basically touch it and tap it on, and it grabs like that. See that? It snaps in. Now, it makes it easier to just simply clap on, and that's fine. But when you're traveling, it's easy to have one USB cable, USB-C cable for multiple devices. Now you've got a unique proprietary magnetic charger that you've got to remember to take with you when you have your open run, right? And so while it's super convenient to not plug it in USB-C, it also means you're stuck making sure you don't forget this proprietary magnetic charging cable or else you won't be able to charge it when you're on the go. So that's the, that's the pros and cons of it. I'm really, really impressed with them. Whenever I go for walks with my dog now, I always use these bone conduction headphones, always. Thank you, Justin, for talking to us about the Shocks Open Run Pro Bone Conduction Headphones. Uh, and thank you, everybody, for your patience while I got that video popped up. Yo, we went from eight likes on today's video to 10 likes. So thank you to the two people that went over there and liked that. It is truly a really big help to uh, to Shopping Dragons and Dragon Blogger when we get those videos uh, liked. They help us. They, they do help. It helps a lot. Okay, so now, though, from the... Almost 7,000 reviews and four and a half star rating shocks open run pros. We're going to talk about the Geek Tail fingerprint door lock. And this is going to be a quick review by our friend Dragon Blogger James. Oh, let me escape this. Let me grab the link for it. And once again, as I repeat, uh, I do really appreciate if you have the ability to head over to these links and like these. I'm going to put the link in the chat, and I'm going to be like number five, okay? I'm like number five. I appreciate if y'all can like that for us. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. I got it highlighted. This is the $60 Geek Tail fingerprint uh, door, door, door lock. Oh, of course it's muted. Of course it's muted. Hold on. Okay, let's try again. James here, and today we're taking a look at the Geek Tail Smart Door Lock. Now, this is a biometric or fingerprint style door lock, but it also does come with dual keys. Now, it is very simple to use. Uninstall your old hardware, two screws to put this back in, and very easy to do. You have the keys just in case the fingerprints don't work or your battery dies. And as I can show you guys, this is now unlocked, and I can actually open this. I just have the keys in here. I can take the keys out. It says locked. Close it again. You guys will see, I cannot open it. And we are good to go. Now, the cool thing is, is the moment you install this, you wait to put the batteries in on the back side till the end. Now I'm going to switch views and kind of show you guys the back side of this. So you guys give me a second, we're going to switch views. Okay, this is the back side of the Geek Tail uh, door lock. Now here is your master pin. This will allow you to adjust and set certain things. You'll have one screw on each side right here of this door handle that you'll take off. That is where you'll put your four AAA batteries in and then put the cap back on. Now, remember, when you put this together, guys, do not have this door shut because you will need to enter master uh, your master uh, fingerprints to make this door work. Now, a couple of cool things is, is when you have the doorknob open just like this, if I tap my front thumbprint and I tap this button, and now it is in actual uh, enable mode, guys, and I can unlock this and lock this with no problems. Now, if I hit the thumbprint again, I unlocked it and now it will lock again and it'll go into lock mode. See, now it is disabled and it is now locked. Now, if you want to input more fingerprints, you can definitely do that. You can do up to 20 fingerprints on this door lock. Now, I'm going to move this around a little more and kind of show you guys the front side of this, right? So, it does come with the striker plate, the insert, and your door handles. 
Both of these handles have a gasket just in case you are outside. Now on this front door handle, it does have a plug for a USB-C to USB-A plug. So you can plug in a power, uh, power bank or something in case these batteries die just to make this activated again, uh, which is great to have that option. Now, the one thing about the Geek Tail is, guys, you do not have an app. There is no app for this. So there is no app with this. You just tap. You're good to go. You're unlocked. You're locked. And all of that. Again, guys, this is the Geek Tail smart door lock for your house. Uh, thanks for checking this video out, and I hope you guys have a great one. Thank you very kindly, Dragon Blogger James, for telling us about the Geek Tail Fingerprint Door Smart Lock. Uh, I think it actually is kind of cool that it doesn't have an app because everything is app-enabled nowadays. So I think just kind of being its own environment is pretty sweet. This is available for 60 bucks today and has a four-star rating with 39 reviews. We started out with five likes at the beginning of the video, and we now have eight likes. So thank you to the people that went and liked that video. Now let's keep it flowing here uh, on this episode of Clown Live, and we're going to talk about our next product, and that's going to be the Geiker Super Blocks puzzle game. Uh, okay, let's get this. Uh, let me like this. I'm going to be like number six. We'll full screen this, and uh, let's put the link in the chat, okay? Hey, guys. Nikita with Dragon Blog is here to, to show you the awesome game by Geiker. This is Super Blocks. They are the creators of Super Slide, and so I'm really excited about Super Blocks because this is – I love – Geiker because they make the best brain teasing games. Now, this is everything that it comes with. A really nice user manual for how to set things up. A really nice carrying cases for the game itself and all the pieces that come with it. But of course, the star of the show here today is the actual game. Um, it does take batteries, two AA batteries, and then you're good to go. All you want to do is long press this, and then you are good to start. It lights up. Now, what's really cool is it tells you the level. So this is three. And it, it's kind of hard to see. If I turn off my lights here, maybe you'll see it a little bit better. Yeah, so you can see a lot better here. And basically, what you're going to want to do is basically try to fill out these pieces. Now, it tells you what color pieces you're going to be using. So since this one is red, you're only going to be using red pieces. So using these red pieces, you basically have to fill it out. So I see that this one fits pretty good here. And then this one fits in here. And like I said, this is level three, so pretty easy. Once you get it, the basically the game recognizes um, that you've gotten all the pieces. What's up, H. Walsh? And so um, I've got everything here. Maybe I don't have everything set in correctly. There we go. And so now it recognizes that the level is complete. So when you're ready to go to the next one, you just pull the pieces out. We completed that level, so we can go to the next one. Oh, sorry. I pulled them out, so it automatically changes it to four. And again, we're only using red pieces, and I got to fill it in here. So I'm going to look through my red pieces. I see that this one is the setup for here. So that one's going to go. And make sure you press it down so it does register that it is clicked. Let's see. This one looks interesting. I think I'm going to go ahead and drop this one here. Yep, I see right here. And you get it in, and boom. Uh, it it uh, you know lets you know that it's done now. I'm going to show you guys something more advanced here. I'm going to skip a little bit. Okay, this one is level 13. And this one is only yellow pieces. So you see the yellow ones highlighted. So I'm only going to use the yellow pieces for this one. So let's see. Oh, yep. Put this one in here. And this one in here. And boom. So that's basically how you play the game. Again, they get you know, more difficult as, as you go on. Uh, these are only yellow pieces. We started out with only red pieces and then eventually you will get so far in the game that you'll be able to do uh, multiple pieces with different colors and stuff. And so it just gets more challenging as you go. So if you're looking for a really awesome game that's going to test your brain skills, definitely check out Super Blocks. These games provide so much time and so much, you know, challenge for your brain. Uh, it just makes them absolutely fantastic. I loved the Super Slide. I know I'm going to love this Super Block set. Thank you very, very kindly, Nikita, for talking to us about the Geiker Super Blocks puzzle game. It is available today for $56.99. Now let's keep our carousel moving. We are so close to the end of the show. We just got a few products left. We're going to talk about this Toshiba Speedy. What? What is this? Oh, this is the convection toaster oven. Okay, I got you. Uh, yo, let me get the link for this video and copy it. I'm going to be like number. Oh, let me go back on the other video. We went from six likes on the Geiker video to 
eight likes. So thank you to the people that are going through there and clicking them, even if it's just two likes, every like counts. So I really appreciate uh, the people that are going over there and clicking the like button on those videos. It's super, super appreciated. Okay, let me get this link though for the Toshiba toaster oven. Copy this, and then we're going to paste this link into this Amazon chat right now. Here it is. And if you can like that one as well, super dope. I'm going to be like number seven. I'm like number seven. And, uh, yeah, let's get this set up, and let's watch this together right now. This is going to be the Toshiba Speedy Convection Toaster Oven. Thanks here. Today we're taking a look at the Toshiba 10-in-1 Toaster Oven. Now, guys, this is a 1,700-watt toaster oven that can do more than just toast oven or toast toast. It can cook. It can bake. Uh, it has rotisserie, guys. You can do meat. You can do pizzas. You can do toast, of course. You can do cookies. Yes, that's right. It can cook cookies, bagels, and all that cool stuff. Now, if you want the model number, it is right there. It is the TL1-AC25CZABS. Uh, instruction manual if you need it. Now, it does come with some extra pieces like a rotisserie spigot. Uh, yes, it has a rotisserie, guys. So you do have the spigot. Um, I will kind of show you guys this real quick. This is what you will stick through the meat. You will then add this into the meat just like this. Guys, you will then screw this down, these little wing nuts to screw down and hook in. You will then open this up, and as you guys see, we do have one rack in here. But there are some inserts. Just set those inserts in before cooking it. That is how the rotisserie works. We're going to set that aside. Um, you do have a removal tool and an insert tool if you guys need. So you do have the big re removal tool for that. Okay, you also have this removal tool, guys. The removal tool is cool because it can pull out these metal racks without you having to touch them. Now, always remember this glass is going to be hot, so be careful when using the tools to pull it out. This is just a plain rack. Now you also have the pan right here. This pan is great for like doing broiling meats and stuff like that or cooking cookies on it. You could get your own little cookie sheet. I mean, because this does have raised edges, so you may not want to use that. Just make sure you have a little cookie sheet. Now, they say you can do a 12-inch pizza in here, which is quite cool. You also have a crumb rack. This crumb tray uh, goes down in here just like that and sets in. Very easily, very nicely done. Now we come over here. We have a digital dial. The digital dial is where we'll actually power this on. This is where you're going to start seeing it. It does say keep warm right here, guys. And I'm going to kind of move this over here. So keep warm. It does show 180 degrees at a certain amount of temperature. But you can change the temperature to keep warm at a higher temp all the way up to 180 or down. You can do the time adjustment, uh, one minute or all the way up to one hour. Now, if we hit function, we can go up one more, and that is uh, rotisserie. Rotisserie is for your chicken. Same adjustment. We go up one more, we have reheat. If we go up one more, we have defrost. Then we have cookies. We have pizza. We have broil, and then we have bake, and then we have toast, guys. Toast is what we're going to test today. Uh, you can adjust it all the way from light to dark, depending on how much toast you really like. Now, we're going to go for a medium, and then we're going to go two slices. Now, what do we put it on? How do we test it and all that? I'm going to grab a couple pieces of toast. We're literally just going to throw it right on this rack. We're going to toast it, and then we're going to show you guys it. Uh, if you guys give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I have some of the world's worst bread. I mean, not really. It's just bread, guys. It's plain wheat bread. Uh, we're going to turn the power back on. We are actually on two slices, so we're going to open this up. We're going to use this to pull it out, but since it's cool, I don't worry about it. And then I'm going to set one piece right here and one piece right here. We're then going to close it. We're going to close the door. Since we are set to the, the, uh, the, the type of darkness I want and two slices, we're then going to press start, and it's going to start working. Of course, it says 450 degrees for two and a half minutes. So, guys, after two and a half minutes, I will be back, and we'll show you guys this toast. Okay, guys, it just beeped and finished. You guys see the red glow is going out of those pieces. Now we're going to pull this out just like this while being careful of it. And now I'm going to grab each slice of toast, and I'm going to set these over here. Now I can already tell you that I'm quite impressed because it actually toasted very, very nicely. Um, if you guys like a toast, it actually did a great job. You guys see the grill marks on the bottom. Uh, nicely toasted to the color and likeness I like. Now, if you guys like a more darker toast, definitely go higher with it. Guys, 
Great product from Toshiba. If you guys need a toaster oven that does more than just cooking toast, uh, this might be the one for you. I want to thank you for checking this video out, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you very much, James, for talking to us about the Toshiba Speedy Convection 10-in-1 oven and with the great toast demo. How nice was that? Uh, I'm hungry for toast. <laughs> I'm hungry for some toast. Let's refresh this now. We had seven likes on this video, and now we brought it up to nine likes. So thank you again to the people that are going through and liking those. Uh, those are all our product videos today to talk about. I feel like I'm missing a product here. I feel like I'm missing a physical product. Let's talk about our last thing here. Oh, um, the Toshiba Speedy Convection, Convection Oven is available today on deal. It's 23% off. It's regularly $146. Today it's available for $113. Okay, let's move on to our last product page. And then it looks like uh, I jumbled up my carousel a little bit and I got a physical product that we need to talk about right after this. Yo. On another social media platform, I watch a man. His name is Guga Foods. Does anybody know Guga? Do you know Guga Foods? <clears throat> Let me know in the chat if you know Guga Foods. He loves cooking steaks. And he cooks steaks in all different types of things. Trying to see what makes steaks good and what makes steaks not good. I just watched him... Uh, uh, marinate a steak in anchovies for three hours and then he barbecued it and he claimed that the anchovies are the Italians uh, MSG and that the umami flavor made the steak really good and the people that ate it enjoyed it but yo yeah I'm always watching that I'm always watching uh, uh, oh you watched a few times Bill yeah Guga's cool Guga's the thing about Guga is his channel is exactly the same like every show is exactly the same but he knows what works and he's got a lot more viewers than I do. So I'm not trying to like speak ill. I'm just saying when it comes to a Guga video, I can pretty much watch the beginning of the steak cooking, see how they're going to do it. Watch the application of whatever he's putting on the steak and then pretty much like fire through all the barbecuing spots and then basically jump to the end of the video where they're doing the taste testing. That's kind of how I watch my Guga, my Guga foods content. Uh, but Guga loves sous vide. Guga loves sous vide, and he sous vides a lot of steaks before he before he uh, cooks them, right? And the sous vide is basically just a machine that keeps water hot at at, at a specific temperature, and you can set that temperature, uh, and then you can cook your steak perfectly. Whatever is a per what's a perfect steak? 130 degrees or something? Forgive me if I, I don't know my my steaks. I don't know my steak temperatures. But you can cook your steak to the perfect temperature in the sous vide, and then pop it out and just throw it on the grill for a minute to give it some grill marks. That's how Guga does it. That's why I started looking at this sous vide stuff online. That's why we're taking a look at this today. But the sous vide is cool. It comes with uh, well, I guess this sous vide is just the machine. Some of them come with the pot. Uh, I don't think this one comes with the pot. See, this one, like, it, it circulates water and cooks the meat tenderly. 140 degrees for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 140 degrees. 130 medium rare is perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, uh, yeah, so you can cook your steak perfectly in the sous vide, and then you can pull it out and, uh, and get your sous vide steak. I never did a sous vide in my life. I never did a sous vide in my life. I never had this thing. I don't know if this would be cool to me or not. I think it might be. I think it might be. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure about that. But uh, the uh, the sous vide cooker by Kitchen Boss is available today for $140 and has a 10% coupon. So uh, that's like basically $14 off of $140, right? And uh, yeah, 166 ratings, four and a half stars. Let's see what some people are saying about this. Oh, they got a... Oh, that's uh, – let's see what this looks like. It's got the color screen on it. Yo, that's pretty cool. I like the color screen. Grill it quick and pan fry it in a great pan. Yeah, exactly. Yo, look at the color screen on this. This is pretty cool, right? i never seen one with the color screen. I mean, I'm not out here looking at tons of sous vide devices, but this one's cool. Got your buttons, set your temperature, preset times. See, now he's got this in the big plastic container for the water bath. 
And that's what this does. If you don't know about the sous vide, you put your food in the bag, you put your food in the bag, in an airtight bag, and then you put it, submerge it in water, and the sous vide, here we go, here's a picture, and the sous vide just boils the water or keeps the water at the temperature that you need it to be, and then it cooks the meat. Really cool, really, really cool. <clears throat> I never used one. I would like to. They look really cool. Worked great for steaks, says C. David. I like the color screen on this. Okay, here's here's the result. Can't wait to use it again. It's raining so hard, dude. My house is going to collapse. It's raining so hard. Okay, so that's the sous vide. That's the sous vide. Bill says, I want to try it now since Stargazer actually does it. I've been wanting to know if it actually was good cooking that way. Star, do you put anything in the bag with the steak? Well, I know you're asking Star, but I'm saying like, yeah, you can marinate your steak. You can marinate your steak in the bag and then cook it with the marinade on it. I wouldn't see why not. And then uh, and then pull it out and uh, and give it the barbecue or the pan sear, whatever you're doing with the steak, right? Now, look, I guess you can probably do anything in this. I'm sure you could do fish with this, and I'm sure fish would turn out really nice. Um, I don't know what other things. I don't know what other options. It's, uh, there's just so many options. Look, everybody's talking about um, steaks, though, aren't they? Big deal for steaks with the sous vide. Looks like it comes with a bag to store it away. An ideal gift for the chef in your house. Uh, but yeah, I think that you can marinate and, and marinate and then put it in the bag and then sous vide and then pull it out of the bag. I wouldn't see why not. I couldn't see why not. Okay, this is the sous vide immersion circulator. Uh, it's available for $140 with a 10% off coupon. And with that, we got one more product here in my carousel. I guess I got to stand up for this. Uh, I got the uh, product in my in, uh, on my table. So let's do this last physical product. I forgot to add it to the appropriate spot in my carousel. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> we'll just talk about this and then the show's pretty much over. We can hang out for a couple minutes if y'all want, but uh, this is it. Okay. So highlighted in my carousel now is the Lytra Glow by Logitech. This is a nice key light. We're going to skip the demo today. And this is a USB-C powered light. Okay. It comes with the USB-C cable. This is the box that it comes in. And uh, yeah, it has a tripod adapter. Uh, uh, sorry, it has a quarter inch for a tripod. And it has the ability to hang off a monitor, right? So we can hang it off our monitor. And then uh, it's got a nice leg on the back with a little rubber booty for extra grip when it touches the monitor. You can adjust the hook on the front. It has adjustability. And once you get it in place, it does have adjustability for height. Uh, so you can have this on your monitor. You can have it facing down if you need. I love about the Lytra Glow that it has this bezel-less design. So the light also diffuses out of the top, which doesn't make it feel so boxed in and directly on you. It does throw out a little bit of ambient light. This offers five different color gradients, ranging from like a bright blue-white light to a soft yellow warm light and has five different intensities. So you basically have 25 different lighting options with the Lytra Glow. And uh, this is available today for... This is available today for $59.99 uh, and has almost 1,300 reviews with a four and a half star rating. I like this thing. One cool feature that I love always mentioning is that it does have that little quarter inch on it. So you can mount it on a tripod if you want to, but this is not battery operated, okay? It's USB-C operated and uh, yeah, so you would have to plug it into like an external source, but it's great to plonk onto a camera or uh, whatever you need, okay? 150% off today? Whoa. 150% <laughs> off on the Lytric Glow. They pay you to take it. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. 150% off today. Uh, I, <laughs> you know, I thought you could have maybe missed type 10 or 15, but there's not even any deal on this today. I don't see any deal on it today or coupons. So 150% off on the Lytric Glow premium LED streaming light. Uh, this is, uh, this is great. They give you money and the product. They send you the product and then they put the money in an envelope, cash money, and they mail it directly to you. 150% off. Cool. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's that. And so I guess that's it. You know, usually we get to do like a fun game show and play a little game, but unfortunately we're in this position where we don't, uh, 
where we don't, we don't, we don't get to play today. It's kind of sad. I, uh, I wish that we did. We got to, I wish we got to play the game. Oops, wrong button. There are like so many open windows. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we don't get to play the game today, and that makes me really, really sad, okay? But, uh, I mean, we can play a game. We'll play a game. I'll write down a number on a paper, and then you all can guess the number, and then it's just for funsies. It's just for funsies. Where's there a pen? <laughs> I got a little pen here. I got a pen here, a little writing pen. And I got a little paper here. And, uh, yeah, let me write down a number. Let me think of a number. Let me pick a range. I'm going to pick a range between uh, how many people are watching? 14 people are watching. Okay. Uh, let's pick a range between 1 and 20. And then uh, I'll write the number down right now. Okay, let me write my number down. Um, I'm going to pick the number. Okay. I'm going to pick my number. Hold on. My pen doesn't write. Okay. I'm going to pick my number. Okay. Uh, I wrote a number down here really roughly on this paper and, uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to say, pick a number in the chat real quick. This is just for fun. We got to have a fun game. We got to have a fun game here. Uh, pick a number, uh, 1, 2, 20, go. Just pick one number. Just pick one. I see you already picking numbers, but uh, you can those, 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 those numbers are fine. I'm not even going to put my go in the chat because you already started typing. So, uh, yeah, just go ahead and pick a number, and then uh, I'll let it run until I see a winner. Oh, we got a winner. Yo, congratulations, Darth Wing Games. I picked the number 11. Let me see that we can see this properly. I picked the number 11. It's not the equal sign. It is the number 11. Congratulations, Darth Wing Games. You win our fun game of today. Unfortunately, as you're aware, there's not a prize today, but I'm glad we could have like a fun little guessing game. It went a little quick, and that was cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad that we could have that fun. I really, really hope that we get to bring back the giveaways here soon enough. And um, yeah, uh, that that's it for today. That's where I'm at. Let's uh, let's go back to this. <clears throat> okay, so that's it. Thank you everybody for joining me here on Clown Live today. We're gonna do another episode tomorrow on Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we're doing shows every weekday. We're gonna take the weekend off like we've been. And uh, yeah, we're going to come back on Friday tomorrow at five. And then we're going to come back after that on Monday. So if you're not here on Friday to join Clown Live, have a beautiful weekend. I hope that you have a pleasurable time that is both fulfilling and productive for you. And uh, yeah, if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you on Monday. And I think that's it from me for now. So we'll see everybody tomorrow at 5 p.m. And I'll talk to you then. Okay, bye, everybody. Much clown love.